Okay. Let's do this. I'm ready. I'm ready for more souls that happen to also be demons. The demons that were once soulified. <laughs> that actually kind of sounded a little, a little off, but okay. I'm excited, though. I, I, I'm a little bit refreshed since yesterday. I kind of knew I needed to refresh after playing for as long as I did yesterday. And I feel like I'm ready to go at it again. I'm going to just watch this opening cutscene again. I'm not going to watch it every single time we start up the game again, because we're probably not going to be at this session. We'll get a lot further, probably. I predict. Unless I suck terribly. But I, I thought about what I played last night. I thought some about it. And I think with my nerves and my awakeness rejuvenated, and a little bit of time away, and thinking about it, I think I might be able to make some good progress today. We'll find out, though. <laughs> I don't actually know if I can pull off what I'm thinking in my head. Like, does Introvert have me? Yeah, yeah, I digress. As I said, I have not seen the intro in the remake. In fact, I have not seen the intro for the original game until literally yesterday. <laughs> This is now my second time. I guess technically third, because like, I saw a part of it once, like, when I was testing the screen to make sure everything was working. But this is my second time saying all the way through. I Sometimes... <laughs> so, I should clarify, there was a point in time, several years ago, that I knew I wanted to play the Souls games blind eventually. Um, I have some friends who are really into the Souls games, but I asked them not to tell me too much about anything. I know that some of them, when I eventually get to playing Dark Souls, are going to want to try and invade me. And I'll think about it, because I kind of like going at my own pace. Maybe it'll be fun. I'll debate. Because like, there's some friends that have been waiting for me to play, play these games for a really, really long time. If the audio on my side is too quiet, or the game is too loud, or the game is too quiet, or I am too loud, please let me know. I watched back the video yesterday. And though I was audible, I think I was a little quiet, and the game was a little quiet, so I boosted my audio. I boosted the game's audio by a little bit, but I boosted my audio more. If audio levels you think should be shifted some, please let me know, because I definitely can do. I'm telling you, are and we are souls and demons in this game? Wow. Alright, so we're going to load from where we were last time. Yeah, I know this, the Demon Soul servers went down a few years back. I have my test files still, which I just have because I want to see if the game is working. We're going to now play as Dusky and resume where we were last time. So here's the thing which I thought about the most. Because currently I was trying to think about what route seems the best for me right now. I do need to grind and I'm going to have to get back into the groove of the game right here. Also, you spawned from this statue. That's interesting. I was actually wondering what the statue is about. I guess it's where you come in when you get back into the game. That's interesting. I currently, as you see, have zero souls. And I'm a little bit low on supply, as I recall. Uh, so I'm going to have to start off kind of doing what I was doing multiple times yesterday, and I apologize for that repetition. I promise I will not today spend as much time doing that. Uh, I thought some deeply about what path makes the most sense. I'm going to go backwards from what I think is what I should do probably later, what I should do now. I could do these in any order. And I, I know my brother mentioned on the stream yesterday, my brother was Q in the chat for the record. Uh, he mentioned that most people just kind of go through a world and if you then beat it, they go on to the next one. And I kind of get that, but I kind of just want to break through and go between world to world to world and just sort of do it at my own pace. So I'm not going to do all like If I like a world well enough and I think it's the easiest option, uh, then I'll probably do it. But uh, this world does not seem like it's the world I'm going to touch upon quite yet. Uh, I looked at each world just a little bit, for like a minute each, just to see what each one kind of looked like uh, yesterday. What I can say is that I feel like I can make decent progress in this world, and of course the beginning world, and the swamp world. I want to save the last two worlds. The last two actually interest me the most, but part of me thinks that maybe I should save that for later, as well as just kind of try to enjoy my time with it. I think the two worlds I can probably make the most progress in, with a little bit of time to think about it, is this world and the poison swamp world. Uh, the Poison Swamp World, I thought about that giant goblin, because I was doing pretty okay until the giant goblin thing. I might want to stock up a little bit before there and get a little bit more powerful before I come back there. And of course, in this world, I've been throwing, I throw myself several times yesterday at the giant knight boss. I, I don't remember his name, but the giant knight thing. Uh, I thought about that boss. I almost beat it one go, but I don't think I quite figured it out at the time, but I thought some about it, because I knocked him over once. 
and I think the optimal strategy is to knock him over. And probably what knocked him over, probably the green fog stuff that was like spurting out of his ankles, what I assume is you get both of his feet into that position, then you knock him over. Uh, I don't think I fully put that together when I was play like when I was playing the boss, and when I did that one attempt and used up all my healing items, I didn't attempt the boss again really after that, because I just felt uh, deterred at the time. With a little bit of refreshment and thinking about it, I think that's probably the optimal strategy to tackle that boss, which means I probably can go a little bit more right at it this time. Giant goblin, some of the swamp sections made me quit in the game for years. There was a giant goblin here, which came out of nowhere and surprised me. And uh, I'm gonna have to think about how to tackle it. Now, theoretically, probably the best way would be to knock it into the pit, but uh, I, I, I wasn't ready for it when it showed up last time. I was even predicting something like that was gonna come. Anyways, I'm just sort of forging my thoughts here as we go. Uh, is there anything I want to do in here in the Nexus before or not? Have I talked to the I, I'll do a round with NPCs. I don't really think they'll have anything new to say, but I'll just say hi to them. If I did not have my miracle Nah, I remember that's what you said last time. Of my... Is there anybody else? There were these couple people in here. A warrior from a... May you enjoy victory, Umbasa. Yeah, that's the one thing that guy said. Oh, honorable one, I hesitate to... Deep within the darkness, when no light shall ever shine, will you continue to pray? Even... I think I skipped something you said last time, I'm saying. Oh, honorable one, deep... No, he's just repeating the same dialogue. Alright, so I think I'm going to start off with the first world, just uh, this one here, and because I think I have it in my head, at least, if I can actually pull it off, we'll fucking see. Uh, but I think I have an idea of how I would beat the boss currently, at present. I'm really taking a good chance to look at all of this. There's the statue that goes way up there. You can see all the little tiny people down there. <laughs> Let's go over this way. Anybody loitering this part of the place yet? No, does not seem to be. I'm also, if I'm going to be taking care of the knight, I should probably take off my poison armor. As you know, I still have the poison armor all set up. Wow. Still, though, all the fun of it. I'm going to try talking to that one figure. I don't think they have anything else to say, but I'll just see if they have anything else to say and say hi to them. Do 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 do. There's like a sound, like an ambient sound. It gets louder the higher up in this place you go. I'm only noticing that right now. I didn't really notice that last time, but you can definitely hear it right now. It's like louder than it was just down below just a little bit ago. I wonder if that noise is supposed to be something. As opposed to just ambient noise. Hello, you. We neutralized the old one and banned the soul arts. Then we spread the arch stones. And in order to mend reality, monumentals we became. I see. <laughs> However, man's memory of history is o'er short, and before long, he repeated his mistakes. As people do. The monumentals perished, and the archstones were long forgotten. And the short-sighted King Alant once again aroused the old one. The monumentals perished, and okay. the and the short sighted. So pretty much the same thing. There is the statue there, which is quite interesting. I feel like hmm. should I try doing Nexus secret hunting before I continue? Do you, would I be able to figure out a secret? Do I feel clever enough? I haven't found any hidden walls. The, like one of the vague things I know, and I don't. Maybe it didn't exist in this game, but one of the vague things I know is that there were hidden walls in the Souls games. And you just have to like hit them and they make them appear, but I haven't found any so far, so I'm wondering if I'm just being really blind to them, if there's some sort of visual clue, or if they just don't they didn't exist in Demon Souls. I don't actually know. That's the fun of these things. None of these people are alive. Like what, is there like a hidden wall somewhere in the Nexus? Probably not. But I can dream. Maybe like a drop-off point? Maybe I should look for something like that. You can't drop off here, obviously. Hmm. But there's but like a lot of soul secrets. Like even what I experienced yesterday is that there's like little drop off points, like shortcuts and stuff. I think there's illusion walls. There's drop offs, and then like there's of course if you're brave enough to go certain passageways. Just sort of think about it. Is this a drop off point? 
a drop-off point. Wait, no, 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 no. That would be my demise, I feel like, if I drop from there. Is it my crystal that's, like, shimmering right here? Like, you see the little crystals on my body? I'm wondering if that's what that's about. I'm not actually sure. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna gander. I'm gonna risk a little, I'm gonna live a little. I've got no souls, I've got literally nothing to risk right now. <laughs> literally zero souls. <laughs> so let, 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 let's see. I'm gonna see if I can find a decent drop-off spot. That is definitely not a decent drop-off spot. Is that like a staircase? You, you could. Hmm. Is that crazy? You could you drop off on stuff like that? So like right here. So like it's like it could be like a staircase. You can land on this. Then you can land on that. Oh, I almost fucking. Ooh. But then you have to like roll onto that. Could you do it from this platform? Could you do it from over here? Should I try this? I don't have anything to risk. I have zero souls. Like, I would, I probably just didn't land on geometry. Uh, is there anything else to land on? I mean, you can't really go over there. Maybe? Should I risk this? Well, as I just said, I don't have anything to lose. Yeah, let's, let's try it. Oh, I'm a, little, I'm a little bit afraid of heights, and this might be triggering that just a little bit. Okay, okay. Okay, okay! Ah. <laughs> oh, hey, wait, wait! There was a thing right there. I saw it. <laughs> Hold on a second. Excuse me, sir. Hold on a second. Where was that? Where was I standing? It's not over here. I'm going up the wrong staircase. Hold my horses. I definitely saw something right then. So, okay. Nothing I can see right here that's really worth. Like, I could lay on top of that statue head, but I don't really know. Is there a point to that? Probably not. Nothing to land on there. You could. Okay. Oh, okay. So, is there something to land on here? There's like. Ooh. Is there anything over there? No. I feel tricky, tricky and splicky and spunky. <gasps> Missing. Oh, 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 barely made that. <laughs> barely made that. Is that a lever? I think it's supposed to be like a torch thing. Yeah, it's not anything to interact with. It does kind of look like it's a candle. Okay. 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 There'd be body here. <laughs> I feel clever. Rion Soldier Soul. Okay, it's just like a little Soldier Soul thing. I guess that's cool. What? Do, 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 do. There's another one over there. Is there another one anywhere else? Not that I can see. Not that I'm around. I don't know if I can get back without dying, but then again, I've got nothing to lose, so why don't I? A little bit of damage, but a little bit of damage never hurt anyone. That's actually exactly what it did. It did hurt somebody. Okay, so there's one I saw over there. So I guess I go this. Yeah, you can see it from here. How did I not notice that before? You can literally see it right here. Demon Souls is your favorite platformer, of course. Okay. Okay, yeah, they, yeah it's just like the identical thing. Ooh. Okay, and the easiest place to land would be here. La di da di da, I feel pretty clever here today, don't you see? New moon grass. What was new moon grass? Inventory recovers all you. Oh, okay, so it's like a mega super healing item. 
I guess that's a nice little reward. Let's go back and take as little damage as I can from this bit. Now, I think a way for me to cheat to get my health back super easily is to go in and go back out. I believe you get all your health back when you do that. Uh, Phallix? Yeah, that's where we're going. I'm going to grind a little bit and get back into the swing of the game, but I'm not going to do too much more than that. I'm happy I found a secret, though. Maybe there's other secrets in the Nexus, because that's there. Maybe I should... But I feel like finding a secret right now is good enough. I'll think about... I'll look for more secrets in the Nexus later. Right now I want to get back into the swing of the game. Gonna roll. Gonna shield. Gonna parry. Buddy? There you go. There's somebody that's taking the bait. I want to practice parrying with you. Oh, wait, I've got my... I've got the... Okay, so this... Also, I forgot to put on my equipment how I like it. I've got the wrong shield. It's the one that's slower than the wooden shield. Uh, okay... I'm gonna put on... My coat of plate. I'm gonna put on my plate gauntlet. None of the gloves are good. I'm gonna put on my hard leather boots. Can I still... No, my hat makes me too heavy. I'm not going to be rolling until the boss. I guess I can wear my super stuff and make myself fucking fat until I get to the boss side of things. Take the bare defense until I get to the point. And now I should do the fast, yeah, shield swipe. I attracted two of them. Voila. Happy to have done that as I did. Just practicing. Don't mind me, sirs. I'm just murdering things because I want souls. I'm going to try parrying again. Uh, he fucked me up. I was hoping to fuck him up, but no, he got me. Now there should be... Yeah, a person I am there and a person up here. Come down here! We're gonna do, So we're going to do one lap of what I was sort of doing last time, is get back to the groove of things. Maybe a little repetitive for those who watched it, like Ryan Rowe, but I feel refreshed. I feel energized. I feel like this is going to go a lot better than the last uh, when I was getting a little bit like, uh, yesterday. Come on, come on. Attack me however you like. I took a little bit of damage, but I still did do the counter, I guess. Easy peasy. Way. Wow, look at all that murder. What am I hearing? Fire? Birds? Come on, whatever attack you like. Didn't quite do the counter I was hoping for, but that still worked out, I guess. I'm just practicing. Wow! Get back into the groove and the timing of it. I pick up. No. I'm. I also want to figure out how you open up this gate. Wait, is that gate open? Wait a second. When was that open? Wait a second. How long has that been open? <laughs> that wasn't open before. Wait, a, hold on a second. There's a new area, and I've just been overlooking. I feel so silly. I was like, oh, there has to be another way to open this gate from the other side, but no, it just opened at some point, I guess. But, oh, I'm excited. This is actually a new, new area. Look at all those bodies over there. Now a little bit cautious, though, because I haven't been here, so I don't really know what to expect. Like, this feels like a trap, right? Like, see all those just the shinies there? Like, there's no enemies? Doesn't this just feel like a trap? Like, there, there's just five items and other things. Like, look at all those shinies. Like, you have to know this is some form of trap. But, you know, I can't not do it. I also have, like, very little to lose right now, soul-wise. 
So, you know. Is like a dragon gonna show up? That feels like what's gonna probably happen is that dragon's gonna show up. What's that sound that you're in? Okay, is this a hidden wall? Nope. No hidden walls, just wanted to check. Alright, anything up in this crevice? Hidden walls here? Nope. I don't even know what hidden wall looks like. It's like a sound. Do you hear like a clinking sound? This is so, so fishy. But it, there's like another sound, and you can hear it too. The fact that I can hear another sound, and there's items just laying there, what just died? What? As I said, seems super fishy. I'm assuming that thing's a fucking kill, it's like a super insta kill thing or something. I'm assuming this thing will like kill me and my family. is like such a trap. I, like, I, I don't even have to fight those things to tell that they're probably bad news. Let's get them away from the treasures I want. They probably are gonna like kick my ass in one hit. But like that's what they totally feel like. They they look just they attack just like me. Okay, okay. <laughs> wait, wait, will this strategy work? Did it almost kill itself? This is rather fishy. Did I get them almost killed by fire? Okay, well I killed one of them. But I used fire. Some grass. I don't want, like, maybe they're just fine to attack? But they also did survive a fire hit. I don't know if that means it's more or less powerful. Are you smart enough to avoid the fire? You're not smart enough. In fact, you're gonna walk right into it. <laughs> okay, okay, I have, a, I have a strat. I have a strat. Don't give me, like, one moon grass and some souls. Okay. Okay. I can cheese this. This is cheesable. <laughs> this is very cheesable. The environmental. I mean, here's the thing. Like, there's so many treasures just right there. They have to be like near like one hit kills. They 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 act just like me. They have literally my attacks. They vaguely look like me. They're like glowing black and red. I've never seen them before. I don't want to get hit by them because I'm like 90% sure that they're a one hit kill or like really close to that. I feel like if I just take them on one on one, I'm not skilled enough to take them on. Given I haven't tried, but it doesn't seem like a good idea. So they, they give off the aura that they're probably bad dudes. Come over this way. However, their AI is stupid and they'll walk right into fire. So guess what I'm doing? And the fire almost kills them. I just call this smart thinking. <laughs> mm. 
Mmm, grass. Did they say there are red hazard enemies? I kinda, I guess. Okay, like, they're guarding so many items sitting over there, so they look a little fishy, right? I think they look a little fishy. Going on over this one. Is more of them gonna spawn when I come over here? Unknown soldier soul, unknown soldier soul, unknown soldier soul. A non soldier soul, a non soldier soul. Sure. I wonder why that door opened up. Did, was it just always. Like, I hadn't checked in a while because I assumed you opened it from the other side. Huh. It's very peculiar. Just checking side areas. Is another one gonna spawn over? Yep. Another. Oh boy. Hey guys, I want to show you guys a forest fire. <laughs> Remember, kids, only you can prevent forest fires. It's gonna be so weird. Everyone, gather around. Papa Ryan wants to show you a nice, toasty, good old time. This is going to be probably comedy gold, but we'll see if it plays out as I'm hoping it will. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Come on, guys. We just got a little single file line going on. All right. All right, everyone. Now that you've all gathered here, come and get me. Come and get me. I'm right here for the taking. Let's see where the rest of them went. Here's another two, but there were five of them. Come on, you guys aren't too big, bag, and scary. One of them's gonna chase after me over here immediately. If they're in the air, their defense is lowered. I've learned that from the other enemies. I want them to leap. Oh, oh yeah, that almost killed me. That That's pretty much what I expected these enemies to do. I almost threw into the fire. That would have been a stupid idea. Sir, sir, sir. So yeah, they strike hard. They don't, they aren't one to kill like I was thinking they might be. But they aren't easy hitters either. Sir, into the fire. There you go. Um, not with the armor I'm currently wearing. It depends on your armor and your stats and all that, but I can tell you that is more damage than a lot of things. It's about the same amount as Dragonfire does. At least at the point where I am at the game, so... Now come on, you last two. We have a little bit more to do. Follow the leader. There you guys go. Yeah, that's another one down. Only one more to go, I believe. Come on, you're the last one. Single file line, please. 
There you go. That's a good boy. Almost got me. Almost. This way, please, sir. Almost. Oh boy, it's gonna be a close one. I'd probably go to a different direction. Oh, he's carried up the corpse with him. There we go, that's the first hit. There we go, that's death. There's some more grass for me. They give me grass and souls, and there's a bunch of other soul-based items over here, so that's good. I also now know what their summoning sound is. It's that ch ch To me, it sounds like uh, those Japanese uh, ritual sticks when you hit them on the ground. They make like a ch sound. I saw those in Kuon and Fatal Frame and in some videos about Japanese. Go like that sound. It's like a very light version of that. I wonder if there's another one that's going to spawn outside of the 8th that I've already spawned in this location. Young soldiers. Nothing up here. Nothing else. Hmm. Oh, oh, there's more over here. Does that mean that more is going to spawn? I hope not. The pathway gets more and more ridiculous. <laughs> I still hear the sound, though. Which I don't recognize from. Ooh, there's like a whole other place in here. I will just limbo them away if I fucking have a chance to. Oh! <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> Sorry, it's just the red glowing in the dark. I should have looked around the corner. Oh, this one's faster than the others. <laughs> I, that actually scared me. I was like, ah, oh, is there anything here? I'm happy I look around places when I enter. That thing will probably want to kill me. Did they almost fall off a cliff? Is that what just happened? This thing is faster and it looks more intimidating. But I bet it won't be smart enough to stop fire. <laughs> I'm so reliant on this fire right now with these things. You can figure this out. Come on, come on, I'm right here. There you go. Yeah, the pathing is great on these things. Thankfully, it doesn't have like a lunge attack. Actually, in some ways, it's easier to dodge its attacks because of that. Oh! Doing the rolls. Voila! Oh no! This one is mega health compared to the other ones. This is definitely... This one will definitely kick my ass. Oh no. This one might be one to kill. That thing... It, it, to, to, it walked through the fire and it still only did a little bit to it. Not to mention its hitbox doesn't seem as big. I think this thing is supposed to guaranteeedly kill me, but I'm cheesing it still. I'm not going to stop cheesing it. The thing is, its attacks are kind of easier to dodge. But, if you saw its health right then... Oh boy, we're cheesing this one for a little bit. This is not how I expected this session to begin. It's like, it almost, it usually dodges the fire, but not always. They got to stand kind of close to the fire for it to actually step into it. See, it's like the fire, it, it almost killed the other ones, but this one, I think this is supposed to be an instant death if I went all the way over there. I think the other ones, it's like a safety precaution. The only reason it won't be is because I'm really stubborn and I'm using fire to my advantage. I feel like one hit from that is going to fucking obliterate me. My only advantage is that it's... Of course, it's stupid pathfinding, and its attacks are kind of easy to dodge. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. Come over here, buddy. No. No fire for that one. I could probably use a different fire as well. See what's stupider with that one. Is. I'm gonna beat this thing. I'm actually determined to fucking beat this thing. Just don't get hit. Let it take itself out of the fire. I don't I don't think I'm gonna actually win it because based on how much health this thing fucking has, I probably don't stand a chance against it. If I get hit by it, I'm probably gonna die. I'm gonna walk here to this other fire. Or maybe that was a bad idea. Yeah, the other fire is in a bit more of an open place that I can kind of circle around. The other fires are kind of too close to the walls, and the game is kind of dangerous for me, myself, and I. <gasps> oh boy, that was... I almost fucked myself up on that one, because I... It, like, also, it barely gets phased by the fire, that's the other thing. Like, it does get phased by the fire, but just barely. Oh boy, oh boy. I don't know what, how much health it's on. All I know is I have to hit it with the fire several times. <laughs> I feel like a coward. But this is working. It's more likely to hit the fire when I'm standing sort of closer to the fire. Unfortunately, it also puts me more at risk, but... Oh boy, oh, it's only at like one third health. Oh, I'm definitely not supposed to be able to beat this thing. I'm supposed to be like running from it. But I'm beating it. Because it is easier to run from, it's just... Yeah, when he gets hit twice like that, that's great. Oh boy, oh boy. This is a little repetitive, I apologize. He usually doesn't walk into the fire when I'm this way. If I get once and I waste all this time on this thing, I'm gonna feel silly. Okay, okay. This is working, it's just a little <laughs> slow. I decided to destroy this box just so it's in the way when I'm fucking doing things with it. It oh yeah, it's like on half health. Okay, thankfully sometimes it steps into the fire twice and that makes it go a little bit faster. It doesn't normally walk into the fire when I'm here yet because it usually like, takes that pathway. Usually steps into the fire when I like, go, oh boy. Yeah. Come on, just a little fire. Oh boy, oh boy. I don't even want to like try. I, I know, I, I, I've i got that. The other ones, they did hurt me a lot, but this one seems t not only tougher than the other ones, it's got like a ridiculous amount of health. So I don't think fighting this thing directly would go well for me in the slightest. It's definitely trying to roll in me and get a little bonus. Okay, it's only it's almost on one third health. It's almost on one third health. Oh, <laughs> don't roll like that. It's starting to roll more on this. It's probably because I'm also getting closer to it. And it rolls more when it gets closer to me to see the difference distance between us. Okay. Okay, buddy. You got this. I got this. Just don't get hit by it and don't die. Okay. It's okay. It's doing its hardest. It's doing its absolute best. I'm doing my absolute best too. Because I don't think I can come in for a hit with how it works. Yeah, that. I, I don't even know why you walked to the fire at that point. But it was nice for me. I'm over here, dear sir. Yeah, that's the position that usually walks around the fire. It's usually when I'm in this position, it's more likely to walk into it. Okay, triple hit. Four time hit. 
Okay, and I almost got hit by there because I almost got a little bit uh, too cheeky. Remember, don't get too, too cheeky. A little bit of cheekiness is okay, but too, too cheeky, it's probably going to kick my ass. I'm surprised it usually doesn't hit itself in that direction. It's on like a fifth of its health right now. I almost have a kill. Don't get overconfident. Because I could, it could still probably just one hit KO me. Okay. Yeah. Thankfully the fire lasts forever, or else I would definitely not be able to be doing this right now. My face, if I see another one, am I really going to repeat this process? Knowing me, probably, but it's because I'm stubborn as fuck. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <gasps> Come on, you're almost dead. You're almost dead. This is the position where you... Oh, oh wait, it actually went to a more advantageous position. For myself, I should say, not itself. It's actually a disadvantageous position for itself. I beat it! Well, that gave me 11,000 souls! And a guillotine axe. Okay, I mean, it's weapon? What is that weapon like? I don't think I was, able, I was supposed to be able to beat that thing yet. Call this a uh, intuitive thought. I think me sleezing the fuck shit out of that fight just put me at a tremendous advantage. Maybe I should before. I, oh, but then also. Okay, no, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I, of course, now that I've got eleven thousand souls just from that little encounter thing. Uh, let me see what the stats are like. Well, it's actually not as powerful as I was expecting, but it is a pretty good axe. So now I'm at the point, now that I have 11,000 souls, I don't want to lose 11,000 souls. Especially, that, that could buy me a shit ton of things. But then if I go, if I teleport back to the Nexus right now, that will respawn all those red things that I've been killing. I kind of want to see what's that direction. Do I risk going deeper? Because I've got a shit ton of stuff now. I don't want to lose. Previously, I didn't really care if I lost, but now I've got too much that I don't want to lose. Or do I go back to the Nexus, spend what I can spend? Oh, boy. And I could go to the shopkeeper and buy a shit ton of grass, but <laughs> I'm going to go back. There's no way I'm risking 11,000 souls in that repetitive process. going to spawn the red things again, but I'll just get more souls from them. And I won't go back next time. I know what I'm doing. I'll be back. Turn to the Nexus, yes. I know it's going to respawn all the red things, that's a little repetitive, but I can't say no to 11,000 souls. Hey man, want to upgrade. Thou soul power, just then touch. Yeah, I want of the mind, key to life's ether. Vitality, upgrade. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from Vitality, the upgrade. Let's strength Endurance, to upgrade. So the and I can only do one so more. The world yeah, might yeah. Be all right, all right. Though item burden and all that is pretty good. Endurance. Gain that to this point would be pretty nice too, though. I'm gonna do vitality because not only I, I need more eight points, I need more item burden because I'm gonna be carrying more and more and be able to fast roll faster so yeah, vitality. La -de da de da. That is what it is, what it is. Of course. Yeah. And I can still buy a lot more grass with this. All right. Going back here and all the enemies are gonna respawn. I still want to check that place out, so I'm gonna have to be a little repetitive. I know. I know it's the more repetitive option, 
but I mean I that was definitely worth it. Yeah yeah. Uh, which of the two enemies that get triggered is gonna be the other one? You're coming first. I'm gonna try parrying you. Yep. Roll as it goes, as it goes. Now you're gonna break through here. Come here, I'm gonna practice parrying with you. Wasn't exactly very practice, but I guess it did work out. Okay, now to summon a bajillion red guys after me. It's a little repetitive, but hey. I mean, I guess they do give me a good amount of souls and they give me grass and all that, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Here they all come. Yep. I knew that coming, that leaving and coming back would make them all respawn, which is repetitive, but I just fucking get from that. And this will be, I'm sorry for the repetition. The last reason I have to deal with the big one again. That's not, I'm, so, <laughs> I'm sorry. I will get 11,000 souls again for it, which is actually worth it. But I won't go back to the Nexus this time after I've uh, claimed it's 11,000. Oh, there's another enemy here. Just not to get in the way of what I'm about to be doing. Sirs, you're a little bit confused of the door. I can help. Thankfully, these things go down a lot easier. Now, compared to the thing that comes after them, it seems so much easier. Two down for the count. Give them their souls and give me their grass. Easy peasy leasy. Wow. Going on over this way. La -da -da -da. There's the last one. Then I'm going to have to summon the other things and the big one, and then I can actually go deeper into that location. I'm being a little baby, he's in fire. They do say fight fire with fire, though. I'm not quite sure this is what they meant when they said that saying, but it does apply to the situation. Come on, sir. You got this. You got this. I feel like maybe I could beat these baby ones. Maybe. It'd be a little bit tricky, I imagine. I feel like I could do it at this point in time, at least. The big one, though, I feel like you're not supposed to be able to kill that thing. I think it's supposed to chase you. It's only because I am cheesing it with fire that it even fucking is doing anything. Come over here, sir. Yeah, yeah, I know. Look! Ooh, scary fire. What separates man from the beast? Apparently what you're about to witness. We know fire bad. <laughs> Ain't a lot of grass for this, though. Can't deny that. Alright. Back on the way we go, we go. Going this way for a show, for a show. And even if I lose my all the fucking souls I'm gonna be getting from this process in the middle of this next bit, I'm just going to reason to myself that I cheesed it once and that already was worth it. So even though it feels like a lot of souls, um, I, I want to go deeper. I want to explore more as opposed to fucking like grinding this for cheese points. Now here comes the bajillion and then it's fine. Well, hey, my defense got a lot better. Like, actually, a shit ton better since the last guy by them. I know I upgraded my vitality and defense and all that, but that did so much less damage the first time I got hit. Go. 
three of them have figured it out. But alrighty. Come one, come all, the show begins. <laughs> We've got fire. Fire here. I know I gotta help you guys wander on out. Right here. Come and get me, boys. I could have killed them with that. I could probably kill both of them with one hit. I probably should. I, just, I like doing fire hits. It's kind of fun, actually. <laughs> ah, but then sometimes you get hit like that. Then like that, apparently. Especially since I'm moving in slow fat at the moment. Alright. Eat grass. I'm fortunate that uh, they got hit last second there. Oh, hey, another one's coming. And let himself get killed. Well, thank you for that, I suppose. Come on, come on, the show. I don't, I'm not even gonna try and see if I can run around that fire. It does not seem worth it. Okay, well, we're almost done with the easily cheesable ones. I was gonna hit these things just so that uh, they stop getting in the way of the things trying to pathfind their way to me. The last one, we're all the way back up there. I've been doing pretty okay, comrade. <laughs> but thank you. I did do bad in last day's stream. Hope you're having fun over there. I ran out cheesing these guys because it's fire. Come here, come here, and eat some grass. Come on, come on. Just gotta keep him on the hunt a little bit. Then we got the big one that's gonna be after this. Walking, walking, walking. There you go. That's a running, jogging pace. Just keep that up. We have a little bit of a tour to go on. La di da di da. Hey, look, big juicy me over here. You can figure out how to go upstairs. Yeah, you're figuring it out. There you go. You got past those big, bad stairs. Some of your brothers haven't had the same luck there. I'll have you know. Wow. I got this. Come on. I'm cheesing these guys for the hell of it, by the way. Come on. A little bit faster. There you go. Hurts your soul watching me cheese it. It's very cheesable. <laughs> La -de -da -de -da -de -da -de -da. Wow, fire! I wonder if fire is bad. He's got this, he's got this, he's gonna figure this out. Wow, wow, uh, 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 uh. Oh, big bad scary boy. Wow, but I'm right over here. You'll think about it. He'll think about it. Wow. No, don't worry, he's fine. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Alright, and now I'm not gonna go back when I kill this next thing. This next one is actually very hard to cheese, but it is cheesable. It's 100% supposed to be an obstacle to stop me from getting into the next area right now. I'm probably not ready for the next area, but it is cheesable. Definitely. I did it already once. And I I was gonna just continue going down to that dungeon, but I you know, eleven thousand souls, I had to spend that. There was no way I was going to ignore eleven thousand souls at this early point when that seems like a lot to me. So of course I cashed that in and now I've decided this time when I get the eleven thousand souls for being this thing again, I'll just go deeper this time. If I lose those souls, then great. Keep it up. 
Oh, isn't that here this time? Huh. I guess killing it the one time is just an enemy that doesn't respawn like the other ones do. Alright. I'll be careful, though. Very careful, because I know this place is supposed to supposedly is apparently dangerous. If it spawns that way, I'm going to be in a really bad way. But I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Green of poison resistance. Ooh, that's going to be good for the poison bog. But there's another... They, 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 they lure you deeper and deeper with shinies. We all know it. I know it, you know it, we all know it. Do I want to continue this descent? Because obviously I'm probably not skilled enough to actually go down here. But I only have 1,000 souls on me. Yeah, I'm here. Might as well. If I die, I just lose 1,000 souls. It's not the worst thing. How are you supposed to get that? Oh, oh. Oh, I think I get it. I think I get it. This is how you're supposed to do it, isn't it? Okay. Either I'm gonna die here a fool, or I'm gonna get that thing. Hmm, where would be the best point to drop off? Is there a hole? No, it'd definitely be here. I don't see another hole in the gate there. So, I don't think... I think they purposely put this hole here for you to land here. Now, is it synced up perfectly? It's a little bit hard to gauge. I do think it's synced up, though. It does definitely appear to be synced up. Well, I missed it. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I get what I'm supposed to do, but that was not the right execution. I don't mind losing those thousand souls, though. I'm doing it again. I'm, 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 I'm here for it. Do your little sway. Silly old name. Alright, I'm gonna do a parry on you. Easy peasy. Now, unfortunately, these things are going to respawn. Should I just try running past them? I might just try running past them this time. That might make coming back here a little bit trickier. Maybe I shouldn't do that, actually, because I think it would be harder to run back. But I, I kind of just, yeah, I'm going to do it because I want to get the item. I'm risking my life for the item again. So the better way to cheese this at the moment would be to run this way, because it takes them a second longer to spawn, and more this way. Wow, wow. Is gonna spawn the bajillion over here. Don't mind me, boys. If the big one spawns again, that's okay. Wow. I'm risking my life for an item. Actually, if this works, this might be a better cheesable way. Are they fucking falling down cliffs after me? Wow, I got my souls back. Okay. The ladder is the easy way, but then I don't get the shiny item. I want the shiny item. The best place to get the first shiny item is definitely a drop off here, but I need to do this a little bit more straight. <gasps> Not like what I just did. Wow. Well, twice the charm. I know what I'm doing. That was stupid of me. That was stupid. Your character isn't tank controls, but uh, they have a little bit of a weight to their turn, which you need to be wary of. Burying you. grass. I'll take grass. I'm gonna do the same strat just to run past them this time. 
Some of them fall down a pit, that's their problem. Running on over this way. This time I'm going to try not to get backstabbed, though. Because that's not fun. Or depending on who you ask, that might be part of the fun. I got backstabbed still. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, I still made it. But that wasn't as good. I'm not going to heal because I'm probably going to fall into the pit again. So, like, why waste my healing items? I'm just going to fucking pit down or die in the pit probably again. Go on down here. I'll get my souls back, I think. I actually thought that I wouldn't get my souls back, but yeah, they respawn there, which is very nice of them. Okay. Now, I almost did the same fucking mistake because it was character turn. So I'm gonna face the camera this way. So how I'm gonna do this is so my character doesn't turn when I'm on the fucking thing. I'm gonna try and do this from here and I'm gonna go slowly and just go into a straight line. Wish me luck, because I'm doing it. I'm gonna get the straightest line I possibly can get into. Drop here. Voila. And now to do this simply carefully. Nope. <laughs> Simply careful. Well, I got the first step taken care of. <laughs> Those are slippery. They're very, very slippery. Alright, come on, do your Ooga Booga thing. There's the first one. I am, like, not locked on. That one didn't go as well, but that's okay. Again, I'm not wasting my healing items on this, because I'm probably going to fall into the pit. But I do have the first step figured out. I just need to make sure, because it's very, very finicky, and there's a turn there, which is going to be challenging. Okay, so both times I've gone this way, I got stabbed in the back. Uh, here's what I'm going to do this time. Well, it actually worked, but it shouldn't have worked. Well, I survived that again. I actually thought that time I was going to die, but no, I survived. Somehow. Souls are down there, so that's gonna make this a little bit more fun. Quote unquote fun. Okay, straighten it out. I know what to do for this first step I did before I could do it again. Because the character debt moves a little bit when they turn, which is probably enough to set you off on this. You don't want to do a full turn once you get onto these. It's definitely more dangerous that way. is the harder part. Ooh, grass. Now, I should have probably just turned for good there. Because now it's going to be very hard for me to turn back. Okay. Okay. Colorless demon soul. Okay, now how do I get lower? <laughs> Well, I don't have to do this again, because there's no other life things on the things. Except if I want to get my souls back, but... Okay. Oh boy. Damn. 
Doing this carefully. Super, super carefully. I actually don't know how I get out of this situation outside of death. Like, I can see that there's a pole down there. I guess I should eat some grass. Yeah, I'm gonna have to eat some grass because I'm not gonna survive the fall damage of this one. I'll waste one thing of grass. Okay, where is the opportune tripping spot? It's over here, I see where it is. Now, if I can sync up with it, that is the other question. Well, no time like the present. I'm actually surprised I made that. I think I can just fall here. Yep. Rest. Large brushwood shield, brushwood helmet, brushwood armor, brushwood gauntlets, brushwood leggings. Grass. Now, do I cross the pit of death? There is legitimately a bajillion bodies down there. But then again, 1,200 souls I wouldn't cry over. Mm. Or was there no point at all to go over here? Do you think I can go into the water? Okay. Question. And this one, I don't mind a little bit of backseating. Is, do you think the water is toxic and the moment I touch it, I die? Or do you think that touching the water is fine and it's going to lead to probably a dangerous place? Probably the water, there's nothing dangerous to the water, but I'm, I'm more concerned, is this an insta-kill? Or is this, like, a thing I can, tr like, go deeper into? Or is this the deepest I get area. That makes a change based on how I'm going to be tackling this, so yeah. I'm thinking about it. I'm going to look at my equipment. I got a bunch of new stuff. Oh, that is, that is definitely an improvement over my last one. Is it heavier? Yes, it is. Racewood weight. It's a lot heavier, but I cannot deny that uh, it's definitely nicer in a lot of ways. I'm gonna be fucking fat as hell in this second. <laughs> I'm so slow. I definitely need to get my weight capacity up. <laughs> Where's my weight capacity in my character status? Item burden. Oh, I am just below my item, or my item burden, and my equip burden, I'm above my equip burden. Yeah, I need to get that up a little bit more. <laughs> I'll leave this area. I'll fall down here once, and I'll see if I can go deeper. If I bet I'm just going to fall in the water and die, but I'll try. I did it just once, just to confirm, but yes, that has just fallen to water and die. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take off some of this. Okay, so which ones add the most? That puts me to 60, that puts me to 85, that puts me to 68, that puts me to 68. 
So, this... <laughs> Can't deny that's a little silly looking. Okay, another thing. 110, 110, 102. Which one adds the more weight? 10 weight. Ten, they're, they're like literally exactly the same. I just think these look funny. Already slower just because of that. Okay. I'm going to equip the old raggy gloves. Well, even that puts me too much over the limit. So basically, if I want to wear this armor at all and be fast and nimble, this is the way I go. The enemy is through. Did not do that good. I did that pretty terribly. I'll take your grass, though. I'll go back for my souls, and then I'm coming back. What was the last boss? Uh, there was a red, glowing, red armored dude that was over here, which I just cheesed on the way you're about to see. Um, I'm about to go. I'm, I think I know how to take care of the tower boss, just this place open now. So I was like, oh, I'll go over here. And then as you'll see, these things spawn in just a second. Woo -go -woo -go -woo. Um, these ones are easy enough, though, and there's an easy way to cheese them, which I will show. But there was a harder one, which gave me 11,000 souls, but I just cheesed the hell out of it, so the way you're about to see. Come this way. Come here we go. I'll destroy these things just so there's a damn way of them. Come on, my friend Dinos. Are all three of them coming? Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Just doing the thing with them. So... There was a, like, a mini-boss that gave me 11,000 souls over there, but I beat it. So anyways, I cheesed them with fire. <laughs> wow. The bo the boss-like one doesn't respawn. It, it did give 11,000 souls, so I kind of get why it didn't respawn, but these respawn. Come on, step into fire, let me cheese you. I probably just beat it. Yeah, but no, it killed itself. Oh, there's the other one trying to sneak up. Come this way, dear sir. Step in the fire. It's nice and toasty. I can kill this one. Get all the grass. Anyways, um, there were several of these things. I don't know why this door opened. It just was open. Uh, there's no more spawns in a second. Here we go. Come here, sir. Come here. The armor which I'm wearing came from right here, so... By the bad swing, by the bad swing. You can go faster than I know you can. Try and get him into his uh, morning jog routine. There we go. Wait here, and I'll see walk into the fire. Sometimes those like skirt around it, but you can trick them. Voila. So anyways, the first three are easy peasy. I could probably actually kill them at this point just by finding them myself, but I cheesed them the first time. So anyways, you do that, there was like a... It was obviously a trap, because originally the bodies that are all sitting there had like uh, six items that all gave you uh, soldier souls, and they lure you with more and more items, but it spawns more and more deadly things. There's first those three. Like, okay, there's those three. And uh, for being those three, you got like uh, six soldier souls from all the bodies that you see laying here all the soldier souls and then they lead you to go further up and there was another shiny up here and then it spawns five of them this shiny was one of the like unfound soldier things so this spawns like five of them as you can see but guess what they're just as easy to cheese <laughs> just because there's more of them doesn't mean they're not any less cheesable walking down the way walking down the way here they go Hmm. I kind of want to keep them together, though. Because otherwise I'll have to go back for more trips for them. Doing their thing, doing their thing, doing their thing. Come over this way. They'll have it their way. Here we go. Just 
Let's lure them all up here for a little bit. I is that what this is? I don't know. I just it was open. Oh. <laughs> I, I guess it's enough to pierce that. Here they all go. Here we go. We got all five of them up here. That's what I was hoping for. Because this will take less trips then. Here we go. Single file line, please. What? That's okay, that'll be okay. And now we teach them that fire bad grass. Oh, I got through. Grass, and we lure them back around. Excuse me, crows. I'm also going to spawn two of the regular enemies there. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Not what you want to happen. That's okay, I've got plenty of small grass. I know I try to lure them into the fire again. Two of them didn't fall for it. I like grass because they're a little bit slow. <laughs> Over here, dear sirs, I'll get more grass. They're a bit heavy. I think it's easier to get them from below than from the top. Their pathfinding usually goes to the right when they're here, but when I'm like hiding here, they'll fucking go for it. Like that. Wow. Oh, that one's still alive. I thought I was dead. That was my fault for misjudging that situation. Grass, grass. So anyways, after you cheat, there's like one more idiot cheat that's down here. Da, 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 it's right over there. Um, one boss. I have beaten one boss so far. I'm going completely blind for the record. I haven't beaten the tower boss yet. Come over here, sir. This is a very blind let's play. No, I'm not. I, okay, so let me explain. I'm, I'm grinding around to get my souls back. I'll, I'll, I'll explain a little bit more when I'm done with that with this one. Originally, I just didn't think I could beat them because, like, they're red, dark, shiny enemies I've never seen before with a door which wasn't open before. So I was like, oh, okay. And I thought, wait a second, fire. <laughs> and that idea process worked. Come on, sir, you got this. Spin, 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 spin. Um, there was a... It won't respawn, because I think it was a one-time enemy. Uh, there was an enemy that looked... Like, it has a similar red-black look to them, but it was, like, a stronger one. It had a lot more health. Like, a shit ton of health. And, uh, it was a lot faster and moved different. It was like... It, it rolled around the attacks that you do, basically. But anyways, uh, yeah, these just dropped 30 souls. But anyways, there was one that is a little bit deeper in, which I'll show where it was in a second, but I won't respawn, which had, like, uh, I had to trick it into the fire, like, 50 times, and I didn't get hit by it, but it looked like it would probably kill me if I got hit once, because I had a shit ton of health. And I don't think I was supposed to be able to kill it, but because I was using that cheesing method, I lured it out from this dungeon that I was in earlier, out over to the fire, and I just put it into the fire 50 times, <laughs> and it killed itself. And it gave me 11,000 souls, and I went deeper and I found this armor and an anti-poison ring. So I was like, oh, okay. Uh, so what happened originally is I go inside the dungeon, then to the left there was like a super one standing right here. Are supposed to make you think they're red players because they're people and they look the same? Okay, that makes sense. So there was one standing here that was acting just like me and it chased me through here and I lured it to the fire and I killed it and gave me 11,000 souls. Oh, wait. Right, that's the thing on the menu, isn't it? I don't know how the world tendency works, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, is one of them black or white? I don't know. Like, do they look different? I can't tell. Anyways, I'm going back to get my souls. Anyways, there were some stains on the beams, and I walked on the beams and collected them, and yada yada. Uh, the armor which I'm wearing right now, I found at the bottom of this chapter. It's better than the armor I currently have. 
I'm only going back down because, yeah, as you can see, I tested to see if the wires were walkable. They were not. Uh, so I'm just going back to my cells right now. I see, I see. Did this place open up because I've got a specific world tendency right now? Because the door was definitely not open before. I don't actually know how the world tendency works at all. So, yeah, yeah. However, um, I don't know how you can tell what the world tendency is. But I've looked at the world tendency chart and I've tried to figure it out, but I, I haven't been able to figure it out. Anyways, I spent my 11,000 souls in upgrades, so this is only going to be like a thousand. Da, 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 da. There's nothing over there, I checked. So back up I go. But there was the corpse that's right there gave me the armor that I'm wearing, as well as a bunch of other armor stuff, but I just don't have the weight capacity to weigh or wear it all right now. Otherwise, I'll get into my slow roll mode. Anyways, I'm done with this area. I'm going to go back to practicing for the tower boss. Because I'm a silly, silly, silly goose. Don't say too much, because keep in mind I'm super blind on this game. I'm literally just going at it. World tendency goes down, you die, and you get it back up from turning human and being bosses. That makes sense. I've died a lot in this world, so whatever that does, I guess is what happened. Yep, well, I wanted to originally get, just do some stuff to get some healing items. I got a lot of green grass from them, so I'm pretty good on green grass. I think I could just go forward and get ready for the boss. I think I, I thought about this last night when I went to bed, but I think I know how to beat the giant boss when I thought something about it. I th like, we knocked it over once, and I think the reason it knocked over is because I made both of its feet go into its, like, green steamy mode. So I figured probably the best strategy against the boss is attack both the feet, they'll probably fall over, and then attack its upper body. I'll run here for a bit. Currently, this armor is not the best option I have for armor to wear. Once I can wear the full set, it's definitely the best armor I have, but it's very heavy armor. I currently can't wear it well. So probably the best armor is just to keep what I sort of had going on before. As you see, uh, this is technically better, but it's not like a lot better. So I think it'd just be better due to the weight difference for now for me to wear what I was kind of wearing before. And I can still fast roll a lot like this. Checking things. Looking now, these two are gonna fucking finally break out of this place. I'll get them before they get me. Wow. Oh, yeah, right, there's that one right there. Almost forgot. Do I think this one? Yeah, that one's gonna get me first. Now they're going to give very, very few souls. I think I've got enough grass and soul stuff. I'm like, I'm, I'll attack a few things just to get some of the easy ones here. But I think I'm pretty much good to go. And I'll do a parry just to make this more okay. Come over here, sir. Didn't parry that one well, but that's okay. You're next. Still practicing my fairy time. Wow. That makes sense that it unlocked you as a tendency. I don't really understand the tendency system fully, but I mean, I, I, I wish I could tell what my tendency was by looking at the fucking level chart thing, but I can't really tell by looking at it. At least I haven't had any success doing that so far. Fire bad. <laughs> okay, okay. Eat some grass. Any other in these? I'm trying to think. Oh. Okay, I'll take some grass, sure. I think I'm just gonna go on the head. I'll beat the things that I do and I'll get some grass from it, I know. Yep, I think I'm gonna go back to the tower boss. If it's dark, it's low, but it's why it's high. 
Like, are they are they dark or white right now? I can't tell by looking at them. What like what part is dark or white? World has these place each area of the player's soul tendency. I like I, I I get that when it's lighter it's better or when it's darker it's not or something like that but I actually can't tell what they are like looking at what they actually are like I'm colorblind is there a difference maybe it's an emulation thing maybe the emulator is not like ma making me not say any fucking color with this because I don't see a fucking difference <laughs> keep my playing through emulation but I've looked at this and I've tried to gather like does this mean anything? I can't tell if it's darker or lighter. Now I have considered that maybe it's an emulation glitch. Because you can mind playing this on a PS3 emulator, so. I see. But then like that was that door a tendency thing? I don't know. Maybe it's like an effect that doesn't appear on the emulator version. That's definitely possible. I'm gonna see if I can actually beat this fucking tower boss. I'm gonna grind a little bit for souls and stuff, but outside of that, yeah. I've still got the pathways of the dragons memorized, so it's a good time for me to. Hey, dragon! Look at me! I'm looking pretty fine looking. Wow! Gonna run on cross. I have got a little more stamina now, so this is easier to do than the last time I was here, actually. I don't like spirit enemies, I'm not any good with them. Actually, can I just cheese in here? I mean, kinda. I will play Elden Ring down the line, but I've decided I'm going to slowly work my way through the other school or the other Souls games. So, uh, don't try to run, buddy. Bone Arrow Guy! Wow. Excuse me, dragon. The dragons are like super hard rails. They would be scary if they weren't as on rails. Once they're on, once you figure out that they're on rails, they're just like, oh, what was their attack pattern? They just want to do a few parts right now? That kind of makes sense. I'll let them burn all the enemies on my head. Burn them. I'll wait for them to finish over there. For a second, I thought I was about to attack here. I was about to get free. I was like, oh no, I'm not with the blast radius. <laughs> I see, I see. I look forward to being your brother again. Okay, the shiny. There is a shiny over there, which I want. I'll wait for one more go before I go back. I'll actually take the harder way of taking the dogs. Actually, that would be easier for these. Running over here to collect this. More moon grass. Time for me to run away before I get hit by the dragon. Wow. Much amazed, much wow. Back down to the dungeon I go. <laughs> Dragon's trying to help, he's just being clumsy and can't let him yep. He's trying to be a helpful source for good, but there's not a whole lot he can really do to help. Nice attempt though. Elden Ring and Demon Souls aren't story later. I don't think they're related at all. I'm pretty sure Elden Ring's in its own universe. Now, I don't know if Dark Souls and Demon Souls are in the same universe, but I'm pretty sure Elden Ring's just its own thing. Other people can tell you about the other story connections, because I don't know. I'm actually super, super blind on these games. Running on over this way. I've gone to this place, so I'm not blind on this part of the game, because I've done this part several times already, actually, because I've died here several times. One on one. I'm gonna pull my shield up, and jumping enemy is gonna go. Woo! Then it's the second time. They're the same story, same world? Alright. I, I think it might be a technicality, because I kind of recall that uh, Sony owned the rights to Demon's Souls. Somebody mentioned this to me yesterday, how Demon's Souls, the rights were owned by Sony. I don't want to trigger all the dogs at once. But here they come.
Yeah, if they all trigger at once, they're kind of uh, difficult to take care of, but you can just sort of carefully tiptoe your way here. Just trigger a few of them at a time. I don't know. Other people know that more. I have not played much of Dark Souls at all. I'm super. I'm like, legitimately super blind. I have played three to four hours of Dark Souls before, several years ago. But I decided I was going to hold off till I decided to play the franchise, and that's what I'm doing now. Here I come. Ooh, more grass. Now, shopkeeper, sell Hello, me a bunch of grass. I, I need grass. Late moon is apparently a big heal, but I think I just need half moon for what I'm going in with. I'll buy five. Wow. Thanks for that. Of course. Okay, now am I ready for the tower boss? I feel like I'm not, because I've died to it a few times, but I also almost beat it last time. I just have to pull it off well. Here's some weeds that's scuttling. They did drop something. Like, they both dropped something. They bolt, which isn't really what I need. Wish sure. me luck. More grass. No, 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 no. Grass. Let me make sure I have all the grass stuff. I'm not going to be using pink lotus right now. I don't want to use my full heals, but if I need to during this boss fight, I will. But I'll try and use it last. I've got all these souls. I'm not more souls. Half moon grass. Moon moon. Fuck it. I'll try not to use that if possible, but if I need to. What is this again? Oh, I have one of those? Oh, I'm going to use that during the boss then, yes. Well, that's going to make this a lot easier. Actually. A little easier. And then uh, unequip that because I don't need that. I don't know the fluttering of There they all go. <laughs> Crescent and grass. Well, time for some more grass. Pick that up. Now to the next bit. Know about Bloodborne remake? I saw some YouTubers that played it. I don't know much about it. <laughs> Come over here, sir. I thought I was gonna risk trying to parry him. The fire is just not fun to get hit by. So I'm gonna first collect this item. This is right here. Some more grass, and then we we'll run backwards. That rejuvenate. And now I've got a cheesing strap for this next bit, which I am going to take advantage of. Also, I should hold my shield up. This right now. Nice. I do not like these guys, for the record. Well, that's very, very close. to kill that guy so I can have one less one to take care of. Because I kind of don't like this guy, so I'm going to keep my health. Hey, help me kill one of the guys. 
that's useful in its own way. That was just the one guy over there. I'll wait for the dragon to do his business, and then I'll grab the soul that's right there. I grab that. Voila. Should I cheese the second guy? Now fight him. Fuck, fuck, okay. This is when I decide to cheese him. Please, dragon, please, dragon, let me buy. I was gonna use all the green grass. That was stupid of me. Unfortunately, I did really badly in that fight. Sometimes I do really well against them, most of the time I do pretty terribly. And now he cheesed that one for me. Please, oh please, let me be ready for the boss, though, even though that thing fucking just kicked my ass, which makes me feel a little bit less confident, but I'll do it. Here, let him do his fire thing this last time, so he likes doing it. I grab what he drops. Gets me a little bit more healing items, which will probably be useful for this. Okay, so what's my weight looking like? Should I have my status? Status. I guess, but then I get the slow roll if I go too much more than I currently have. I think it's like half weight. Is that enough? Let me see this. Do I have enough to wear, like, if I put on this, am I gonna get too fat? Yeah, just even that is too fat. Okay, old ragged gloves it is. It's better than no gloves. <laughs> roll a little bit faster and all that fun stuff. Alright, I'm ready for this, I think. I think I'll do, I'm gonna do my best, but I had no promises. Okay, well I may have passed that without getting fucking obliterated, so that's the first good step. And also, I kill these guys in one hit now, so this makes it a little bit easier. Keep the green grass as I go on the outskirts. The fact that I only killed them in one hit now makes this a lot easier than I did last time already. Last time I had to hit them all in two hits. Here we go. Round, round. Ba, 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 ba. Good second get really easily. Sorry, I was grabbing you. Okay. So I've got a few tricks to this boss, which I'm going to be trying to do this time. Firstly, I actually forgot. Thankfully, you have this downtime. I actually forgot I wanted to equip my turbo steam. Okay, so I'm going to try and rush in. And before I do anything else, let me also check one thing my sword. It's in good health, right? Yeah, it's in decent health. That's what I need to know. I know I probably shouldn't. Yeah, I'm not going to heal because I'm going to try and go in and out. I'm going to turn human when I'm done with this. Let's do this best I can. Fire on. Rush towards the boss. He's going to try and throw the thing at me. But barely miss. Oh! I just realized that a shield attack cannot hurt you from behind him. Yeah, he's got a big weak point on his backside. 
Okay, now I'm going to not be a fool. I'm going to back up. Yep, because otherwise I'm going to get killed. Retreat time. I'm going to do what I was thinking about doing earlier. Okay. I have one of these, so I'll use it. Now wait for my turbo scene to run out, because it's going to run out pretty shortly. Now, what I want to do is I want to get him to his green form so he gets knocked over. Yeah, it's about to run out anyway, so. Do it to it. I get him out of this corner. Come on, you know you want to get to me. Come on, sir. Demon Souls is multiplayer, it's just the servers are now, like, gone forever. So... This back attack I'm always the worst at. So a shield attack, which I've now learned you can just stand behind him and you're fine. There we go, he's falling. I'm actually learning. I'll try to get to his upper body. Oh wow, that's fucking killing him to shit, actually. I'm actually gonna be Oh I beat him! That was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. That one very good. I feel pretty good about that. Easy peasy. Once I thought that we knocked him over last time, I didn't know that was a mechanic, so we figured that out. Touch it. Iron Demon Curse. Or oh, you hear the dragon again. <laughs> Return to the Nexus. Yeah, let's do so. Right, I've got a lot of souls I can exchange for stats. Happy we did that though, so that's two bosses defeated. Okay, talk to everybody time. Well, you found yourself a demon soul, did you? I'm impressed. Yes, indeed I am. Stay the path, and you will soon be a monster yourself. Is that what you think? <laughs> Can't you see you've fallen for their trap? You... Have you seen my corporeal flesh? Has my body gone rotten? This guy, for the record, he has I'm sorry. Please leave me alone. I see. I see. I got an answer. I accidentally skipped that. I was smashing. Uh, who are you? I don't remember anything. So he's losing his memory as long as he stays here. Got it. Hello again. Hey. I'm keeping a close watch. Let's just talk. If only something could be done to help him. Ah, you got nothing to say. I can forge web. Talk. Be thankful that I'm still a... Nope. No interest, eh? I can tell. Go over here. Have you heard? If you are attacked by a demon, you will lose your humanity. Oh, what a horrible thought. Just what would happen then? I simply cannot fathom it. Massa. There's another one that says Umbasa. I don't know what that means. Massa. That's a mystery for another time. Let's talk to you guys. A warrior from a Fmehu Umbasa. Yeah, more and more of them are saying Umbasa. Oh, honorable one, I hesitate within the darkness when no light shall ever shine. Will you continue to pray, even in such misery? Oh, oh deep within the darkness, will you continue to pray, even in such misery? Ah, uh, sure, buddy. Okay, so there's a little bit of new dialogue, not like a lot of new dialogue. I'll check the people over here, of course. Impossible reads, praise the sun. 
I mean, I know praise the sun, but is that really what Ubasa means? What do you want, brute? I have no use for miscreants like yourself. Away with you. Okay. I be a new. I guess I didn't really mean anybody new along the way, though. Lady in black, what's up? Actually, let me before I talk to you. I have a lot of souls. Colorless the soul, the primeval demon. Use this demon soul? Should I? No. Iron demon soul, real and hero soul. Use items. Yeah, why do they ask me for demon souls in particular? Real and soldier soul. I didn't even beat the colorless demon. It's just a soul at the bottom of the one place I went to. Real and soldier soul. Unknown hero soul. Unknown hero soul. I'm gonna be able to level up for a little bit. Unknown soldier soul. Unknown soldier soul. Maybe I should hold on to the demon souls till I know what they do. Because it definitely shows me a message if I I, I use the first I just use the first demon soul and I got it for souls. But let's see. I don't actually know why it asked me why I want to use Thou seek souls soul or not. power dost then touch. Let's talk first. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped here. Let's see. Anything else? I keep the candles. Nope. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Okay. Soul of the I want to get this up to level 20 because I'm silly. Vessel. What is equip? Equip burden is so endurance. I need more equip burden. Maybe I'll just focus on this for so a little the bit. World might be mended. I do need a lot more equip burden. Wow. <laughs> Art thou done? Uh, Main thine. I think I might uh, use one of the two demon souls. Do I think the iron demon soul or the colorless demon soul that we've already used here? What does this say? The soul of a primeval demon. You don't feel any power from it. Grants the holder a large number of souls when used. Alternatively, it can be made into spells, miracles, or weapons. Wait, oh, is that what that stuff does? So it can turn into weapons. Radiates a strong power. So I could turn this into spells, weapons, and other things. Should I hold on to it then? I guess that's why they make you make the choice. I'll use one of them. Hmm. I'll fucking eat this one, sure. Wow, wow. Thou seekest then touch. Let's see. Seek soul, soul power. Of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdraw. I'm only gonna be able to do this vessel. once with this. I guess I'll eat. No, I'll. I shall await thy I'll returns. hold on to a stronger I thing. Stay. These are from the first area, so probably not the strongest in the game. I don't need a bajillion weapons. I'll just fucking. No way. I still have another one. Soldier soul. I wouldn't eat these souls, but I'm probably missing out on something due to this. But I'm gonna do it. And I'll hold on to layer boss's soul, see if I can do something with them. Thou seeketh soul power, doth then touch. At the moment, though, I do need soul power. Of the mind, key to life's ether. Okay, endurance. Because I do need more weight. Granted, so the world might be mended. Vitality or strength? So the world this. might be mended. I am getting kind of high on item burden. I can probably put some stuff away shortly, but I kind of need more equip more than anything. I think life is just generally useful, and that's a pretty big life boost. Fuck it, I'll do this. Is what it is, what it is. Okay. Art thou done? I'm also a human for now, I guess. 
So I'm gonna put some stuff away because I got some heavy stuff. Hello again. I'm keeping a clock. You have a heart of gold. Okay. So currently, though I know this isn't gonna help much in the short term. I'll keep the hats. Brushwood armor. I'm gonna be yeah, I guess I'm gonna go back to the place that I came from. Currently, if I was to put on the armor and put on the gauntlets and put on the leggings and put on the fucking hat, how does that go for me? Yeah, I, <laughs> that's my role. I still definitely don't have enough to uh, tackle that. I definitely need a bit more item strength stuff. Let's see. The world tendency. Still not obvious. The Bolterian Palace does look like a slightly different color than the others. Now that I'm sort of like looking at it, but I don't know if that's a good is that a good thing? Is that light? Is that darkness? I don't know. Status, how's my weight holding up here? Equip items on oh, like point to above. What would be socially acceptable? <laughs> oh my socially acceptable. What would be acceptable? That's kinda of funny. Okay. Well I'll put some stuff away. I was I wasn't planning to equip all of it right now as I enter to the bog anyway. For the bog, it's better to fucking wear the other stuff. The old rag, because this is resist against plague, which obviously I don't want plague, so all that is big plague resistance. I'll keep the helmet though, because like, it is higher defense, I don't have like a plague helmet, and it's more defense. So that makes some sense. Uh, with my equipment stuff, can I still put on the shield? Does it counter as well? But it is better defense. Yeah, I can still do just fine with just the spike shield up. I remember to do it more like this than this, because I'm not going to have to parry with this thing. Hello again. I'm keeping a So I'm going to deposit some items. Da -da 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 Throwing this I want. No, I think I'm gonna keep all this stuff just in case I need it. But I'll get rid of some of this stuff. Uh let's see. Shard of Finstone keys, bastard sword, I'll probably get rid of some of this large bushwood shield. Oh wait. You have a I got a shield gold. too? I didn't even notice that. I wanna see what that looks like, even though it says large, it's probably fucking ridiculous. If you don't have enough skills, enough skills to use this weapon, it's effectiveness and battle will be lessened. I just want to see what it looks like. Oh yeah, that is. Uh, <laughs> I can still roll with it though. Da, 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 da. That's a pretty big shield. And does it like that? Okay. And where are the white right stats to be able to use this? Okay, I need 26 of that thing. What's my current thing say on my uh, status menu? My ring? Is that my vitality? I'm on 19, currently 19. So I need to get to level 26 vitality. So basically, to use the brush bell stuff, I need to put my vitality and my endurance more. If that makes some sense. Alrighty, alrighty. Some goals to do for the future. La -de -de -da -de -de -da. Inventory. For now, I'll put the shield away, though I can mostly use it. But I'll just take the spike shield for now. Hello again. I'm keeping. I will deposit some items in my shields. I will put away this for now because all that stuff does take about a lot of item stuff as well. Talisman of God. Oh, what is that? Miracle assist. Tal oh wait, I have a talisman. I finally got one. <laughs> I didn't realize that, huh. Maybe I'll see what magic is like. Wooden catalyst. Spell assist. Most basic tool for using spells. Come out a small composite bow. Wing sphere. I've got bajillion of those. Oh, I got morning star. Okay, a guillotine axe. Yeah, I got one of those too. Mail breaker. I've got like three of those. I should probably get rid of two. Schmitter, bastard sword. I got arrows. I got a stair bolt used with a crossbow. Range attacks require right that bow. The crossbow bolts be equipped. Makes sense. 
Now I get rest on the armor I'm not gonna be using anytime soon. Brushwood leggings. Deposit. Hard leather boots I'll keep. Saints boots, I can't even use them. Brushwood gauntlets. Link gauntlets. I get rid of the gauntlets. Saints gloves, can't even use that. Brushwood armor, get rid of that. Coat of armor, old rag road. Saints robe, can't even use it. And I'm keeping this and that. And I've got my rings. I also have the ring of poison resistance, which I should probably do if I'm in, when I'm going to the bog. I don't know why I quit for the you bog. I don't think I, I don't think I'm going to the don't bog. Don't let them next. take it from me. Yeah, I know. Yeah, bro, I get it. Okay, so coat plate, hard leather boots. Okay, and then if I equip my normal shield. Still like that. Okay, if I go to this helmet. Okay, okay. And now one last thing to test before I go back. If I go on the plate gauntlets. Nah, I still need more weight stuff. I need more weight stuff to make a difference to all this stuff. So I can start being more defensive eventually again. I can... F what will you let me buy now? Still, you're a little more expensive for grass than the other dude. Actually, no, you're crescent moon grass. Hmm. Yeah, it's part of the fun of it. Heater shield. Nah, that's not that great. Can you upgrade something? Alan, I need more sharp stone for that. These are my shield a lot. Will this upgrade something? To do more damage, I guess. Yeah. I guess repairing for now is what I would prefer. Schmider, yes. That's not very many souls to repair that at all. I have another one shield never this one breaks, so I'm not gonna repair that. You come back alive! I need your business. I'm gonna go back here, though I kinda wanna go to the swamp pretty soon, but I've also just got to a new area. I wanna see what the new area is like. Arkstone of the Demon Tower Knight. Inside Bolterius Gates, where the streets intertwine, lies a trap set by the fat official, an embodiment of old Kane Olin's madness. I guess I'll do this first. If this seems too difficult, I'll go to the poison bog. Now first try this. Right. There's the place to progress. Look at all this fog. Gaining itself all ready for me is worse. I think the color of this fog holds you back. Only those who have slain an archdemon may pass beyond this point. Oh. Oh, they're not letting me in until a certain point, so I have to go to another world now. I guess I haven't been any archdemons yet. Alright, I guess I went to the poison bog. Wow, wow. Oh, he died? Storied soldier's soul. So they eventually pass on here. That's interesting. Mimasa. Pretty much what I expected. I'm gonna go up here to see if anyone else has appeared. I kind of doubt anyone else has. But he passed on. Pat Pat. I wouldn't predict it. He'll give me very little soul in exchange for his life. Like he is becoming depowered by this place. Rule of three. It's a typical thing where threes are very reoccurrent as a number in various uh, different ways. Like uh, three little piggies, or if you want to go to something more like real life, like three stages or three difficulties. Threes just pop up a lot of times a lot of different ways. So the rule of threes is that uh, one, two, three. Try something three times. Try to do something uh, if something appears three times. That sort of thing. Hmm. I'll eat his souls. Mm. Oh no, he gave more souls than I thought he was going to. So. Thou seekest then I keep the candles lit. 
Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Okay. So on one Soul hand, I need to get vitality up to level 26. On the other Let's hand, grant, so I do definitely need made. more uh, endurance to so carry stuff. I'm also about to go to the fucking poison bog, so maybe it's good to get this because this will give me more poison resistance. Fuck it, I'll do this, even though I probably also need more health and vitality. No, actually, but then I also need vitality to survive. Oh, this is always tricky. I'll do this, because this gives me more equip bonus, poison bonus, etc. And I'm about to go to the main poison area, so yeah. A little bit more poison resistance? Never hurt anybody. Plus I need some more equip burn and stuff, so that's part of the fun of it. Art thou done? Oh, he kneels. Oh, he's kneeling. He's like doing a prayer. Strength, help the world be mended. She's supposed to be like a holy figure, I guess. Now you can argue she's an angel or a demon, yeah, yeah, because the story is definitely trying to poise that she could be one or the other. But yeah, I also should equip all my stuff for this place. I'm putting on the helmet for higher defense, but outside of that, I'm putting on my old ragged things. And I will replace this with my spike shield. Also, I should put on my poison resistance ring. At the moment, I'm not a uh, soul form thing. I'm going to put on the ring of poison resistance. I hope I don't die. I'm burden. Okay. What's my poison resistance like right now with the ring on? Oh, my poison resistance f is fucking absurd. I will do it. Let's do it. The Chieftain Valley of Defilement. This damn valley is the resting place of yada yada yada. Well, let's do our best. I don't love this level, but I'll do it. I don't hate it either. It's kind of neat in some ways. I don't think I'm ready for the big guy yet. Definitely stronger than when I came here last time. Holy hell. Yep. Let's do this. Hey, Nihi. Currently just going places up. Rain. I'm trying to, what did I just do with the back attack? That wasn't intentional. I don't know if I'm ready for the poison swamp, but I'm definitely going to try my best. Oh yeah, I've got bigger fire resistance now too. Huh, and I also have a decent amount of healing items. Will this actually go okay? Am I ready for the fog, for the bog? I'm going to say this now, I'm going to ask Anthony about that giant thing yet again. Oh, oh, wow, that's a new attack I haven't seen on the yet. So two hits is currently what I do to these things. Grass. Now there's one with a fire stick right there. I should take care of him before the others. Oh, he gave me some more grass. That's going to be useful, actually. I don't love these things, but I'll do what I can here. Okay, and slowly rack up more souls. I get more upgrades and afford other things, I suppose. So I try to destroy these things. Drop down here. To maneuver this place very, very carefully. Hey, you. I just noticed there's like a body resting like right there. You see it? I see it. How do you get to that? I'm gonna look at that in a second. Hoping to load this guy this way. 
Yep, there he goes. Okay, so... I probably shouldn't risk my life because I'm in human form right now and I don't want to fall to my fucking death. But there is definitely souls over there. The better way to do this would be for me to first go over here, drop down here, and then figure it out. There is just a drop off way this way. And be careful, but yeah, you can definitely do it like this. Reowned Hero Soul. I need to be careful because I know the flooring can pass here, so I shouldn't go too fast. Crescent moon grass, that's pretty good. Wow. Just thinking about some things. Hmm. These guys don't seem like a lot of fun to me, but I'll do my best with them. Is that something over there? Is that floor gonna fall? Wait, wait. Okay, so I saw more bodies on the way down. And I, like, I see a glowing thing right there, so it's here I drop. I have to be very, very careful how I descend here. More crescent and grass. And I'm definitely not going to complain about that. Oh, there's a guy. There's a couple guys, in fact. Not a bad attack, actually. That one can actually push you off a cliff if you're not careful. Well, I got a lot of grass on the way. I guess I'll eat some of it. Reign of Magical Dullness. What does that do? Equip. I'm not going to probably replace my reign, but I just want to see what it is. Lowers magic power, raises magical defense. Okay, that makes sense. It's probably good if there's a lot of magic stuff to deal with someplace. Especially because I don't really use magic a lot. Are you a hidden wall? Didn't think so. Okay, then from here, I think you just drop down there. I'll try dropping down here. Thankfully, I landed okay. I was actually a little bit worried for a second. I see one of them sees me. Are they going to be smart or stupid? Well, they didn't die, so I guess it's worth what it is worth. I won't bother those other guys. I don't really need to bother them, do I? Is that like fire bombs or something? Nope. Alright, I'm going in to fight them. Not the... Oh, I just ate new moon grass. That was a little bit of a mistake on my side. Oh, well. Easy come, easy go, as they say. I don't want to climb the ladder again. Okay. Going on deeper into here. Keep my shield pulled up. I'll jump into the fun pit if I see something that looks like it's worth jumping onto. <laughs> not just because I'm like, ooh, ooh, I fell in the pit once before. But only once, and I would like not to recreate that.
hate that attack. I say as I experience it a second time. Eat some grass. No, 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 no. Look at all this grass be shoved right into my mouth hole. Anybody else in here? This is pretty, pretty close to where I died to the giant thing that one time. Not quite there yet. It's a little bit lower on the ways, but I'm definitely getting closer. There's a place right there. I'll think about it first. Oof. I only have these fun things trying to escape. Don't mind the giant termites. That's how they live. I guess some crows having a good time. Shard of Marrowstone. I do need more things for crafting. Did I go down this way last time? I don't remember. Right, there's like a guy over there that you can fight, but there was like a soul over there last time. I think I already got the body over there. But there's an item over there. I can see it from here. Okay, so first I'm going to fight this thing to see if I can get a better view of this thing. Almost had trouble there at the wall, but did it. Don't worry, he's gonna slip through the cracks. That plank was very, very finicky. I got a body here last time, and I think something snuck up behind me last time I went here as well. I could see that there's a series of shinies, like literally just a series of them over here. How do you get over there? That's a nest right there. Yep. Not from here. I guess from over there somehow. I'm trying to figure out how you would do this. All the crows are attacking that thing in the middle there for some reason. This level's a bit interesting with its verticality, but also kind of hard to read. It's like a mixture of kind of like hard to read, but also kind of, I kind of get it. Okay, was this thing a point that you're supposed to drop off onto the nest thing? Yes. You can definitely see the shiny from here, actually. I think it'd be better to walk right off the edge into the nest. Yes, I do. Fuck, I'm going for it. Here's hoping this doesn't kill me. Go! Oh, don't, don't! That could have gone really, 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 really poorly. Stone of... Oh, that's another thing that'll bring me back from being human. How do I leave this nest? Okay. Let's start off by attacking that thing. He almost did win that sumo fight. I <laughs> was on the edge there. Okay. Is this a pathway? 
I sure hope that's a pathway. <laughs> yes, it's a pathway. Be a little bit careful because I don't want to die. Oh, I'm going to some grass here. Try and be creative with my path in here. What is that over there? Oh no. I did get a thing make me come back as human, but oh no, I see that right there. Go super slow. Oh boy. There is another pathway there. I get bothered if I don't get close to it. Fuck the finickiness of this area. Oops. Sorry, bias came up in the dead wasn't exactly what I was expecting. Okay. Before I interrupt that guy, can I just push this down? Okay. Should I even bother that? Part of me is like, Ryan, that's super obviously a terrible idea. The other part of me is morbidly curious. Do you guys think I should bug that thing? Uh, I guess I'll have to make a decision for myself. I kind of want to bug it. I know there's like nothing in it for me, but I'm curious. This is one of the worst ideas I think I've done in this game. It's obviously a bad idea. That was actually a lot better than I expected. Last mailless. I expected much worse from that. Heard a goblin. Just cross applesauce over this way. <gasps> Rats! I hate these rats enemies for the record. I do have plague resistance right now, but that's a shit ton of rats. Fuck, how do I deal with this? The upper ground as well, you hit them. Where will I have upper ground strat? So right now it's mostly lower ground. I like really dislike the rat enemies, like legitimately. It's like constant upper ground. It's like literally the worst spot to fight them. I was gonna try and skip them. There's the giant one. I see the giant, so I know where I am now. Ugh. Talk to you in a second, ma'am. Dealing with rats. I'll eat some grass. I know that those weren't the only rats.
There's the giant goblin that got me last time. Okay. I'm going to try and lure the giant goblin here. Because this is the only strategy I can think of to try and possibly cheese him. I still don't really think I'm ready for him. Please buy another for the poor child. I'm trying to think right now, ma'am. Okay, how do I deal with giant goblin? Oof, oh, 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 oh. I wish it was like Demon Souls so I could do the drop down thing that's in Demon Souls. Well, here's those. Like, if I drop down, it's gonna probably kick my ass. I could just run the other way. You beast! What are you doing to me? I'm not the trying to do it to you. Can fight back, you scurvy rat! Ah! Oh boy. Die faster, please. I'm about to die again. At least I know where my souls are and I've gone to the human brain back thing. So I do think I can beat that thing. It's just not going to be easy. <laughs> So I'm going to equip Spinnable Island's Black Turpentine. Huh. I'm going to save that. Story, throwing knives. I'm going to turn on this here, but I'm not going to turn myself human until I think I'm in an okay place. I need more of my shield. My shield's got good defense, even. I should use it more often. I'm gonna try and use my shield more in this place. I don't have the ream, that's why my health is so shit right now. I was like, why is my health so shit right now? This is for item equipment, right? How much is my item stuff holding right now? Uh, item burden? Oh, I've got plenty. I want the poison resistance, so what if I replace this with the clean ream? And then my item burden... Closer, but doable. I don't love this level, but I'll make do. falls off, I figured. Come this way, my fellow boys. See me right here. Looking like an appetizing little snack. Did 
<laughs> they both go. I'll take this route, even though I don't think this route is the quote unquote safe route, but. I need to try to use my shield more often. It's actually probably becoming a lot of handy in this place. I could practice parrying with this thing, but for now I'm just gonna try the shield next round. This one's gonna get. Oh no, no, that was not gonna go up. Several people in there. Oh, fuck, there was a guy up here? Why'd they come down from the ceiling and grab that one? The fire one is finally moving out of his position, so I don't have to worry about one sneaking up behind me. Pity party. Mmm, <laughs> grass. Nothing over here. We're gonna be pretty soon back to the rat part. I'll go this way as opposed to the other way, though I do have to deal with the nest if I go this way, but I don't have to deal with fall damage. So. Where did I fall into right now? Where the fuck am I? Guess the top of the nest? Okay! That one very very quickly comparatively. Now pretty soon again to the rat glut. Please buy another. And she's a demon to boot. Buy item. Maze, rotten arrow, chain helmet. Curses, I wasted my breath on you. I wish they were more collected than they are right now. Oh, they're getting more collected than they were. Did that goblin just kill one of them? I can kill the rats from a slight distance with a sword. That's cool. Eat grass. More goblins coming. The downside of getting that bridge down, I guess.
I don't have an explosive option, really. I mean, I can put my... I'm, actually, I should put myself on fire! That's the best I can do right now. I have an idea of how I'm going to attack this. Let's He's in, like, in such a stupid spot. <gasps> he almost just kicked my ass. Okay. So I'm gonna put on my fire option to take care of this goblin. And I'm gonna run like a little bitch over here because at least this has a little bit more equal footing. I see exactly how I'm gonna be doing this. Now, will it work? I, I don't fucking know. Let me make sure I know how to climb here to here. And my hope is he just fucking falls down a pit. But evidently that plan isn't a reliable... Let me throw some throwing knives at him. Like from a distance, just so I can trigger him earlier. Is there a goblin rushing out with his fucking ass? If a goblin rushes out to me before I get a chance to, I'll fucking take care of him first. Just so I can like not deal with both of them. The big goblin's gonna take all my attention. Okay, little guy, come over here. I see my souls right there, but I'm not gonna get tempted. They're not gonna disperse. If I die, they'll disperse. Alright, goblin taken care of. But where's this goblin coming from? Seriously, where the fuck did that goblin? I was like, I was hearing a goblin. I was like, where the fuck am I hearing a goblin? Where'd that guy have come from? Whatever, taking care of there. Okay, I'm gonna use my shield more. I'm gonna put my sword on fire. I think I can do this. I won't put my sword on fire until I run over there. And I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm not gonna get poisoned immediately. I've got some throwing knives. I'll waste them here. Thing that'll bring me back to human if I fucking die again. That's fucking nice. Before any other goblins show up, let me fucking. I'll eat some half moon grass. Okay. And there's that little victory. On to the next bit. I could use my shield more, but I did do it. I'm gonna get my souls back, and everything's gonna be fine. Take advantage of my fire sword while I have it. And if I get myself to see correctly. I need some grass. Okay. I'm doing this bit by bit. I hear like something making screeching sounds. Oh, it's these things. Okay. 
I think I have a thing for poison. I just need to equip it. Hit one of you guys. Okay, I can't even like this. Right, that's the low ground panel the last time as well. Shard of Marrow Stone. Well, that's not gross. Mmm. Gonna eat some grass. Oh boy, this whole room is ingress now. I'm actually looking at it. There's that taken care of. I'm gonna be doing this bit by bit here. They're smart enough they would cut these bridges. But I guess they would also have to rebuild the bridges, so maybe that wouldn't have been smart enough. These are their bridges. Okay. There could be a Leo. Oh boy. Oh boy, I wasn't ready for another one yet. Why well, don't I have the fire this time? Uh, let me go over here and try and do that quickly. Well, I'm going for him, so maybe I should just light myself on fire now. Well, there he is. I can see him from here. That's him, right? No, it's no, 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 that's not. Here I'm storming. Do I find him in there with all the best I got? I need a little more grass. Palpatine. Part of me wishes that I put him on fire, something or poison. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go fight him. I know I am. He's just stuck in some corner somewhere right now. Okay, let's do this. Seal doesn't do shit. Ah, oh, fuck. The only way to do is to avoid his attack. Cheese him, cheese him, cheese him, cheese him. Cheese them. Oh, I really wish he had items. But I did cheese them. I've cheesed two of them so far. I actually did not lose that much during that one either. 
Now, I don't want to die because I don't want to do this all over again. That or I come back stronger, but I need to beat Archdemon. I probably will go to a different level if I fucking lose to this level at this point, by the way. Because I don't love this level. <laughs> if I love this level, I wouldn't mind going through it again. But, uh, my major hope is I don't fall. Well, that looks delicious. Somebody made some black spaghetti for me. <laughs> Squidding spaghetti, but with extra leeches. Mmm. Oh, hey, it's a portal. That is both intimidating and also nice to see. Full moon grass. Duh. Let's do this. It wasn't just a boss one, but we are in a boss one. Leechmonger. Okay. Oh boy, how am I gonna deal with this? Fire, maybe? Let me get rid of my new moon grass, because I don't want to waste that on this if possible. Half full moon grass. I'd rather spend that than the other thing. What else can I get to do? Sorry, I have the poison thing in case I get poisoned. Thinking about this, thinking about this. Windows, here from the plague, stone eye, blue eyes. Do I have anything else, really? I guess turpestine. I guess I can have black turpestine if I need it during this fight. Might be a waste. Maybe it's a good idea. I don't really know. Should I put on deeper armor? Do I think a leech would give me the plague? I don't really think the leech is going to give me the plague. I'm going to make a foolish call. And I'm going to say that the leech is not going to give me the plague. Poop plate. I'm going to take defense right now because I'm not a boss fight. Uh, of course I'm going to, get, have to get rid of my nicer shield though. But that does mean I can do some more things with this. So I don't have as good of a shield, but I do have better general defense. So that might benefit me here. I can still roll, right? Yeah, and not the slow roll. I just drop down to that? What am I supposed to do here? Is there, oh, there's a pathway. Good, I didn't just drop down to it. Has a lot of bodies down there with it. That's for sure. I guess this also explains all the leeches we've been seeing. A leech is poisonous, but I wasn't really equipping things that got rid of poison. If you look at my current stats, I currently have like 323 poison resistance. Leeches are poisonous, but I kind of doubt leeches give you the plague. I think it's the rat's job. And probably some other enemies later, but I feel like leech is probably poison. But I do have a lot of poison resistance, and I've got enough pink lotuses if I got poisoned a few times. But I also have got super massive poison resistance right now. Now I know what it does when I'm fucking coming down to it. The answer is part of my question. Boy, oh boy, am I just gonna get killed on the way there? Yes, yes I am. Now, do I wanna leave those 3,000 souls behind? I don't, I should've just rushed it. Do I, do I wanna fucking go through this level again? Maybe I should've held my shield up while I was going to bed. I should've gone faster, okay. That was my first time encountering the boss, so let's see. During that part, I should just run to avoid the fucking leech balls. But I don't think I want to do that level again right now. Um, I the, If it weren't for the two giant goblins, this level I've sort of got a handle on. Maybe I'll go to a different level and then come back to this one. I do have good poison resistance right now, but I think... 
I I'm gonna leave those 3,000 souls to be. Sorry, 3,000 souls, you're cool and all, but I <laughs> want to try something else at the moment, as opposed to wasting all my items on trying that boss right now. I could use the big... I don't have the uh, ability to use the big shield to its full equipment yet. I'd have to get to a higher level of other things to do that. Though I do need to be an Archdemon, though, in order to continue here, though. Alright, so if I'm not going to do that level, which I can do that level, and I can honestly speak, and I can probably beat that leech boss, but... Uh, I don't like that level too much. If I like the level more, I'd probably just go do it right there again. I'll do the level again when I'm ready for it. Do I think I'm ready for the Burrow King? I might try the Burrow King. I'm going to try the Burrow King. I'm not gonna turn myself human immediately. I'm gonna sort of get a feel of this level before I get confident in that. I like this level more, even though some enemies were previously a little bit tough for me, and they probably still are tough for me. But I'm gonna try. Okay. I'm gonna replace this and that. Whip, whip. Actually, I'll, I'll keep turpentine in case I need it. I probably don't need the poison thing here, but yeah, so you know, you never know. Uh, don't think I need the poison resistance right now. I will take for the strain. And for here... King of Magic Dormus. I'll do Magic Defense here. Actually, probably I don't want the Magic Defense. Probably I want more uh, Soul Form, because I'll be sticking around Soul Form for a little bit. Oh, I've got Bolt. Bolt. Oh, that's for bow and arrow stuff. I'm not going to use that right now. I want to keep my equipment low. We got our favorite rock throwers. That's what they love doing all day. Throwing rocks. They also say it pierce attacks are good. How do you do pierce attacks? I need to try or test more with this. Thing. That's what I'm going to do in this area. I'm going to practice that two sword stance. Yeah, I thought I was about to fucking do something off a cliff, but no, that didn't do that. I'm gonna practice this sword stance, because I never use this, and it's probably actually super useful. I'm gonna practice what this sword stance is like in this area. It's supposed to be more powerful, and I've had difficulty with the health on these enemies, so maybe that's perfect for me with this, especially since I don't use my shield often. Yeah, it's definitely more doable here than it was there with the other sword for me. I'm going to practice this sword technique in this area just because it feels nicer with these enemies. Again, oh yeah, this is the part with the dog sack, I remember this actually. It's more than just that pupper ready to say hello. Here they come. I'm going to try and attack at the right time. I messed up. Half Moon Grass, because I'm trying to get a feel for this area. I'm not going to attack the enemies that aren't just like needlessly attacking me right now. Like, why why get them all angry at me and fight them when I really don't need to? This guy's just wandering. He's just doing his beeswax. Now, this guy, though. Now, I do have fire and I can probably get magic resistance. I can kill this guy. <laughs> Full moon grass. Not gonna use that right now, but use half moon grass. Shard of clear stone. Chunk of hard stone, chunk of sharp stone. Some nice stuff in here. It's for 
crafting, I suppose. Which I guess is what this probably has a lot of crafting stuff in here too, which is probably going to be useful. He looked like the knight who triggered the boss in one of the last areas I was in. Is this not where you need to go? I kind of thought he was guarding the way I needed to go. Oh wait, no, there's a passageway. Oh. The only problem with all these enemies around is that it's very easy to get locked onto them when they're not who you're trying to lock onto. Thankfully I dodged that attack because I actually know you had that attack in your arsenal. I want to avoid, but I'm going to bring you out here so I can fight you with the other ones. There you come. And you leap. I can attack before he can attack. That's one of the advantages I have against them. Why is my attack up? I don't know. Oh, it's because I'm in my stance, isn't it? What's got destroyed? <laughs> oh, it's one of these guys. Right now, they're to taunt me, I guess. Okay, let's go into the cavern, little holes. This is a tight squeeze. Oh, hell. The fire guy is very pissed off somewhere around here, so I need to be a little bit careful. Try to just roll away, try to roll away! Ah, the, the small space made that rolling suck. Stay close enough that I can keep my lock on with him. Fortunately, my big sword isn't very good for those very, very tight little areas, but so I have to kind of lure them into the bigger areas. I do like this level already more than I like the poison mines, though, I will say that. What's around this corner? Probably a trap? Nope. Oh, that type of grass. I prefer that, actually. When I'm on like this half mode where my health isn't full. A lot less destructible stuff here. I'm assuming because they make it out of iron because of, you know, fucking lore reasons, yeah, yeah, the, probably more refined than some of the other places. I hear another monster nearby, so I'm kind of expecting. A pickaxe? How's that go with my stuff? Physical attack, AD, hammer, magical, special attack, damage, reduction, guard break, reduction, durability. It's not bad. He's a sidearm. That said, any sidearms will weigh me down more and make me not do my faster roll. Because currently my uh, quate is a little bit weak. Moving up. I see one of those magic guys right there. He sees me too. You did 
good there. It already got me while I was doing this. Thankfully, that magic guy's radius is reach over here. I actually thought he was gonna keep on bombarding me with fucking fireballs as I went over here. Keep a short sword beside your long sword? Definitely possible. I definitely have a dagger still and other stuff, but right now, what I'm doing with this area. This area is more wide. Again, I won't bother the small ones unless I need to. Oh, hey, a ghost. Ghost? Oh, you want me to pull this lever. What's that do? Is this a time limit lever? I don't even know where that door is. <laughs> I'll just get this stuff. I don't worry myself with this right now. Because I don't even know what that's for or how I could get to wherever it is. Soldier soul. I'm still learning the area, so I I go up here, I see. So I can loop around this area like that. It's also within the fire we guys reach though. Just learning this area, because I, I I don't know this area. Hope you set yourself on fire, sir. Okay. Yeah, I'll go down with them, sure. Don't mind me, don't mean to interrupt whatever it is you're doing down here. It's just. By the way, all your horses are dead. Oh, is this the bottom of this area? Really? Even though I now know where I am, I've now pieced this together, I actually don't know what that gate opened. Is there a gate like that anywhere? Well, that was close. I don't think there's anything over here. Like that, I saw that open a door specifically, but I haven't seen that door. I was wondering if maybe it turned those on, but no, the answer to that is negatory. Okay, well, right side, I think I can do okay in this place. That's I need to figure out this place. I have never used the crossbow in this game, so I have no idea. Okay, so down here is just a little bit of a pit place. Probably the next place I need to go is up there, then. Fire guys being a nuisance up there. I guess I'll go back in here. Yep. Crisscross applesauce, seeing places to go. I don't remember seeing a locked door like that anywhere, though. been up here, that is true.
sorry, a boss fight? That looks like a boss fight, doesn't it? It's actually really easy to get to. This was a lot easier than the fucking swamp. This is just a fucking boss fight, but that doesn't mean the boss is easier. Am I ready for something like this? I'll go in without reviving myself just to see what's in store in here. Like, I see something standing there. Walking on through. This is not a boss fight? This is not a boss fight. What is that? That was like a fire lizard. And those were the sounds that I was hearing. Okay. I do have better fire resistance than I once did, so I guess that's good for this area too. Listen to all the sounds of this place go. Here we go. I'll just rave like I can here. Half moon grass, don't mind if I do. Hear a shiny? I hear a shiny. That's just lava. Before I check out this area, let me look more around this location. What is this place? There was more to this area, so. But this feels like the right way to progress. For the right way to progress, what else is there to this location? Place. Back down I go. Checking over here. That's where I was just a little bit ago. That's it. Oh, the fire lizard came down. I should be concerned about that, shouldn't I? Oh, yeah, he's definitely. Like, he's, he's coming at me weirdly. Reef fire. Okay, he's dealable. I probably don't touch his fire, but radiated. Makes sense. So, yeah, there's at least one more body over here. Shard and melt stone. That's probably a new type of crafting material. It's probably a lot of crafting materials here. This is like the area that's an industrial, industrious mine. Not industrial, really, but is industrious. So the fire lizards are okay to fight. I have an okay handle. Let's go this way. So now that I know that the fire lizards are okay to fight. They all just fucking all they like land onto this to latch onto. Shard of Dragstone. They just like the form. They're kind of cute, actually. I kind of like them. I like the croaking sounds, too. Alright, cuties, but onward from here. Probably we don't walk into the magma. Are those just goblins? Can't hard to tell from this distance. I'll try getting one there. One of them kind of moved, and I thought maybe that meant I triggered it. If I can just fight one of them at first, they got like burning hot rods, which probably means it's like the fire things that the regular got inside. I just want to fight one at a time. Here we go, dear sir. Oh, 
start learning that's better for me to get my stamina back before I go for round two. It goes faster and goes a little bit nicer. Come on, sir. We got this, we got this. Just gonna learn this way. I would consider it a horror game as opposed to, like, survival horror, but... Nothing wrong with that. I don't think it's trying to be a survival horror game. I think it is trying to be horror theme. And all that stuff I got. Another fog place. Is this where I'm gonna fight the boss? This area is honestly very, very small. Definitely, yeah, more over there. It's almost looks like where I would expect them to drop a boulder when they get down and get chased in the end of style. They're enjoying themselves. Don't mind me destroying things. Very nice view out there. What's that tower over that way? Crescent and grass can never have enough of that. There's another shiny over here. Okay. And now this shiny. Unknown hero soul. This is where I came from originally. Yeah, but I'm above it now. And that's why they're throwing rocks down at me earlier. Makes sense, makes sense. Let's see. I'd have to really think about that one. To be honest, top down isometric games are not my personal fave. I know a lot of like them. Well, that's how I could have killed the rats earlier with this pose as well. Turn handle. Sure. What's that handle do? Sign it to from here. Wait. Oh, it moves those platforms. Ooh, I want to try this, even though I might die in the process. But I want to try it. Oh, I survived that. Where did I end up, though? On one hand, I ended up here. On the other hand, uh, I thought I thought it was like, going to drop me off into a lava pit or something. That's why I was trying to see if I could like, roll to the other one. I was just afraid it was like a trap <laughs> because I missed that platform. Uh, before I ride this place, I guess let me investigate with this area. Hero Soul. Wow. I definitely don't see a place to drop from here. So I definitely shouldn't do anything stupid. Let me just take a look at this view though. You can see below from there. Is the one over there running? It's possible to tell the, the fucking distance doesn't show. You see the tower up there. Cool. Okay, so back up we go to the next area. Scoop me up. Now that I know it's not gonna fucking drop me off suddenly, I can just kinda take my time with it. How did I not notice that door earlier? There was another area though, so. I'm gonna take that on my way back here. And yeah, it's safe to ride these. I thought they might like try to drop you off like a fucking trap or something. Like, I guess I was just overthinking it. Shard of clear stuff. That's nice. Anything else here before I go back? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah. There's another stop there. I'm gonna try that stop next. I'm gonna let do it to me one more time. Right, that never ends, I suppose. <laughs> at least I got a good look at this place now that I sort of know what stops there to take. It's 
ready for the deal. Power over there, going back down. Not this first stop, there's one very, very shortly this way. Oh boy. I landed on this, which actually softened my fall damage. I'll eat some grass now. Okay, there's like, there's nothing there. That's just literally a stone structure. Not a guy I could look at, I realized how useless that was. So I lost a little bit of health for nothing, but hey, at least I got these running. I like the next chance I get to. I won't be impatient. I'll just do what I'm supposed to, which is when you're going up from this direction. Time for it to spin. There we go. I need to see if this one over here is running or if it's not running yet. It's possible. I think it's not running. At least I kind of know what these are now, though. I guess then the best way would be to run on back. Running on back? Easy peasy. I'd like to check the fucking basement once. I wonder if I could have activated this earlier, because I noticed that just now there was down there like a little thing. I wonder if this probably was blocking there or something. But the fall damage isn't too, too bad if you're smart about it. I'm sort of noticing there was another me mechanism down here, so I wonder if you knew about this. That you could have very early just activated this device. I kind of doubt you could, but at the same time I don't know if you could have put it. See, because there's like another one right here. It does seem there's like nothing outside that goblin down here. Doesn't seem to be though. And now I know the axe will be the first stop here. Actually no, I want to go to the top, why am I stopping up here? To the top we go. Where will we stop? Even I don't know. Why? Well, I, I know it's actually right here. Now we go through that fog gate. So the first fog gate didn't lead to a boss. But I think the second one will. I don't know. We got those running again, though, which I definitely don't regret. It's definitely a shortcut. Okay. Well, let's see what this fog gate leads to. The unlock behind me. So that's a good sign in terms of this being a boss trap. Doesn't seem to be. I'm just taking care of a goblin, don't mind me. Easy peasy. He left a shard of sharp stone. That's nice. Now since I don't know this area, I'm going to approach it just a little carefully. More guys working their asses off. Hard workers. Excuse me, sir. I want to take the shiny. Excuse me, while, sir. I, I realized I needed more stamina before I could do that, so, but I decided to go for it anyway. Wow. Walk off. I'm not attacking those guys unless they get malicious to me. Enemies are 
traps around here and I'll take a spot for the media. It's a chill it's the spot. Alright, that is. Well, that's a new attack by them. I haven't seen one of them do that before. Definitely once I recognize it though, it's easy enough to dodge, but I just hadn't seen that attack pattern before. Now you do your thing. And voila! Easy peasy. Okay. Is that like a baby lizard? Oh fuck! The lizard was there to tempt me into a fucking a pretty good trap, honestly. I'm very fortunate that this did not just kill me outright. Are these ones weaker than the ones I fought before, or what is up with that? We got like a critical attack? Hardstone. I can't believe I thought about looking up, and I looked up, and I just fucking got obliterated by something that came from the bottom. I should have looked up longer. That's about what I expected. Anytime there's a bunch of goodies, it's feels fishy as fuck. I thought there'd be enemies up here throwing rocks or something. I guess it's just a one-time trap. I'm very fortunate that one-time trap didn't kill me. I say as I almost walk off of the end, maybe could have hurt myself, but would have killed me when I hurt me. So I don't see anything else up there. If more rocks fucking land on my head, then I guess I'm the fool here. I forgot how fucking big their radius is. Ah, it's got anti-virus systems, thank you. That was just warning me, like, ah, oh, I haven't scanned a lot. I mean, I can deal with that, just it's not ideal. Okay, get out here, get out here, get out here, get out here, get out here. Hopefully that's enough to fucking attract them. Yep, there's the first one. With a ball. Something or he like die. I guess he 
didn't die because his corpse is there, but I didn't really register when I killed him. Grass. All the shiny lizards gone, because it definitely ran through here. And it's definitely a place to hop down from, but whatever. It's, it's okay. The shiny lizard was a trap to lure you this way, anyways. Easy come, easy go, as they say. A steel shield? What's that like for a normal shield? It's an improvement! Finally, a better shield that doesn't look too heavy. Like, it is heavier than this shield. Like quite a bit, actually. It's not as heavy as some of the other shields I have. Like, it's... No, actually, no, this other shield is... Okay. It is a bigger shield, though. I need to get some more things eventually. This shield still has a lot of durability. How much fucking durability does my fucking shield have? This level's a lot easier than the swamp level. There's like some stuff, but I'm still getting by. It's so obvious I can drop down there. Should I drop down there and then come back up somehow, or do I go up here? Is that full swamp? <sighs> I'm dropping down there. Is this where I came from actually? Let me let me like scour it. Yeah, okay, yeah. I, that's where I came from before. This is where the lava pit is. Okay. I was about to fucking go to a place I've already been. Given that there is one place that looks... I'll go take the easy way out if this doesn't lead to anything. This, is, this part is rather suspicious, right? Oh boy, no, I am not making that leap. Thank you for asking, though. Can I climb back up? So I'm going to probably drop that back down, but I'm also going to see what this area leads to, if anything. Nope, just a little area you can go to, I guess. I guess there's a shortcut back down if I need a shortcut back down. So probably the best place to drop off. But, yep, that's about as good as I'm going to get. Shouldn't take very long to get back to where I was, just throwing it over here. I forgot about this room, actually. Daddy, daddy, da. Look at me run, kick that body off a fucking horse. Yes, of course. There is definitely something over there. We'll get to that when we get to that. Now I'll run over this way. Oh, wait. Oh, I know how to get to that body. I should just fucking do that right now. Sometimes it's going to take little detours just for your and other people's fun. Wow. Here I could come. Unknown hero's soul. I'll take that. And cross this in the meantime. I will be a little bit wary. I should probably return back to the base pretty soon. Actually, nah, not yet. <laughs> not yet, I'm going to say that this is going to be a fucking crazy, evil, tough thing that comes at me. We all know what's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. You guys know it's going to happen. Something evil or another is going to come. Be like, oh, go, 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 go. On the other side of this platform, there is a body. And I'm trying to see if there's an easy way to get there. If I just end up there later. All these lizard things. This stance is better for these things. Also, they don't do too much damage. Okay, you kind of go around the corners. That's part of scouting. Stand in the back. I like them though. 
They're cute. They're surprisingly tough to take care of in the very narrow area! No one expects dog. I didn't expect dog, that's for certain. Shard of Dragonstone. Okay, continuing the track downward. Doggos. Wow. Eat grass. Dogs just having fun. There's definitely another dog over there because they usually come in packs more of them than just two. You got like stuck behind that. This is where I saw, yeah, this buy over here. Oh, grindstone stuff. That's actually very, very useful to have. Now I'm sort of grasping the use of it. A lizard down here. I thought there might be like this be sneaky and hide something here. But no, they haven't. Unless I can like roll into that. Didn't think so. Let's go on over this way. Okay, okay. Area some hits to cross. This is a lot easier than the fucking swamp level, I'm gonna say that for half the grass. It's more enjoyable in my sort of opinion too. Did I see? Okay, one of those guys. I was trying to see if it was like another dog or something. They're starting to stagger a little bit less. I'm noticing that. Not a bad thing, I'm just noticing it. So now I need to change up my strategy a little bit. Well, it's because I'm not in the same stance, that's why. I'm not dual wielding. Dual wielding does the stagger, which I would be used to. I'm almost getting a little low on healing items. I still have healing items, but I'm starting to get a little bit low. I'm a little concerned. of the two-handed method more and more. I don't think I don't see you there, sir. Get some stamina back, get the gear attack. Now we'll just activate the one which I saw at the very beginning. Turning these pieces. This gets a whole CG cutscene. Not CG, but cutscene. It's all cutscene. Ah, it's pulling up a lot. Of time. That makes sense. Yep. 
that. You can work there. That's okay. That's what you want to do with your life? I'm not going to stop you. As long as you're not trying to stop me. Anything over here? Nope. Just getting a feel for the area. Activate that. Over here. I've definitely been there before, because there's signs of my destruction. Oh, okay, I think I know where I am. Just confirming. There's back there. And now I can cross this. Wait, does that mean these lizards are now no longer going to be there? Are these lizards still happy? Yeah, these lizards are still happy. They still have their fire pit. That's what I care about. Okay. That means we can cross the magma pit. It will be as easy as it looks. No idea. Large sharpstone shard. Ooh. Oh, I got another ring of poison resistance. I got two of those now. Water. Get over here, grab this. Have moon grass. Got more of that finally. I'm going places. I hear, yeah, the lizards are still in the pool, but I'm just trying to, like, by pulling me in their fire pit. Just getting a gauge of where I am, where I'm going. Fire lizards dropping down? Doesn't seem to be. Let's continue to climb down. Sometimes you can just peer down a dark passageway and try and determine if there's something there or not. I see another fog portal. Right now. This one probably be the boss one. I feel like after two portals, the third one's probably the boss one. Another fire guy. Yep. Fuck. My life. Full moon grass. That's probably good for right before this. Okay. I guess on this sword it'd be easier to go like that. Easy peasy. Okay, so this is. Definitely a boss door. Can I get an idea of what sort of boss is on the other side before I get inside? Uh, no. Do I dare do the boss right now? I do have 2,000 souls. 2,000 souls aren't the most. I got enough carried around. I could revive myself to myself human, but I'll do it in the middle of the boss fight if it seems like I have a chance. And then it also gives me a heal, so you know. I'll do this. Yeah, let's fucking see. Oh, it wasn't a boss? I really thought it was going to be a boss door. It tricked me. Don't, oh, I have another thing to turn me human. Never can. I'm not going to take those for granted. Okay, this feels like it's leading to a boss area, though. Even if that specifically wasn't the boss door, this right here feels like it's leading up to a boss area. This feels like the whole consider yourself, consider your position, walking up to another fog door. Yeah, yeah, it definitely has that feel. Definitely has that uh, for oh, spider webs. Oh no. 
Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna fight a giant spider, aren't we? Well, that is totally what's happening right now. Am I ready to fight a giant spider? Well, I'll try my best. I'll have to fight it eventually. Come over here, sir. Back, get some stamina back. Easy. Shard of Hearthstone. I am getting a lot of crafting materials here, I will say that. Ooh. More spider webs up there. Definitely building me up to some spider or another. Oh boy. I'm not the biggest fan of spiders. I'm just going to be upfront with you on this one. But we're going there. That's definitely what everything is hinting towards. Thing is, the boss doesn't specifically... Well, I guess the other bosses I fought were all in specific boss rooms. I'm just expecting the game at some point to break its trend, and the, like when the boss is not being just in a specifically made arena, and just pops up a little bit when you get a little bit deeper. I just have like, that gut feeling that like the game would eventually try to pull. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I'm just thinking too much. Just checking back here, don't mind me. That is a torch, but there's definitely a body up there, which I can see from here. Which means I'm probably climbing this. Yeah, there's a place to climb. Let me get into the middle of this room and see if anything happens. Oh boy, an elevator. <laughs> oh boy. They're definitely doing things to make you know what you're getting yourself into. Before I do that, I'll do whatever little puzzle thing is over here. Go up here. I'll go over here first to get the shiny. I like shiny, as you see. Chris Blade. How's that compared to my current sword? He might have upgrades for my sword. Oh, that's a, at least by default, it's a very weak sword. Straight sword, at least in terms of pure physical attack. It does have good magical attack, which probably means more of a magic sword. Almost just dropped off there, but I did. I'm going to check one more thing along the area, and then I'm going to go use the very suspicious elevator, which is just not conspicuously there. Okay. I can roll off to this area, right? I didn't need to roll off it. Yeah, that's where I came from. I thought for some reason that was a different platform, but no, it's not. Okay, well, no one lives forever, as they say. I, I'm a little nervous, I will not lie, but I will do this. Let me first check to the left, first check to the right. If it wasn't, a, like, if I was fighting a slug, like a giant fire slug or a giant fire lizard, I don't think I'd be as nervous, but I don't like spiders. Oh, hey, there's something back here. I was about to say, oh, there's not a shard of spider stone. Interesting, interesting. Just giant, giant. Wait, why is there a handle here and a handle here? What does this handle do? It appears to be a mobile. Oh, is this the handle to bring the elevator back if the elevator is down? That's 100% what this is. Oh, there's Okay. We go going into a dark pit one day. A little bit afraid. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! 
Yeah, I'm so excited. That's not a trap. Chunk of spider stone. Hopefully spider stone is something good, because I'm definitely finding some chunks of spider stone over here. Ba da 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 da. Ah, centipedes are okay. I don't have the same fear of centipedes. They're like a little weird, but they're kind of cool weird, if that makes sense. How's it going, fella? I'm not trying to stall. I'm totally trying to stall. I know there's a giant spider in there. You can fucking... They, they aren't even hiding. You can literally see its eyes from here. Well. Like the present, oh, and I'll, I'll probably die at least once. I, I kind of have it in my head that in these games, usually you're gonna die to the boss the first time you see it. I did not die to the second boss, which um, that would be the slime one. I'm, I, I guess I'm kind of the tutorial boss, though. I think you were definitely supposed to die to that. Um, I didn't die to the slime boss, I killed that on my first try. I died to the fucking stone tower boss multiple times. I obviously, I obviously died to the leech boss. Uh, the one time I've encountered it so far. The one thing is, this level feels a bit big, but that's partially because I've been doing everything. With the shortcuts I've got, it should be pretty easy to get back here, actually, in honesty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's do this to it. Yeah, you could get... Okay, now that I'm thinking about it, I was sort of thinking, no, it's going to be annoying going through all the enemies again. But really, to get back here, you just have to take the shortcut at the beginning, and then cross the lava lake after you defeat a few of the pickaxe enemies, and it would lead you right back here. And knowing that, that makes me a little bit more like, ah, so even if I die, I don't have to like, fight everything game back here. That's going to help. All right. I have my nerve. Let's do this. Oh, boy. It's funny about spire shooting fireballs. Isn't quite as intimidating to me. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh, it makes you go super slow and get staggered. How do you get free of this? I thought I was going to do okay until it fucking stuck me in that. Oh, that is a long cooldown to get by it. I do not understand what's happening right now in this boss so far. Okay, so I died the first time. Um, okay, so I can damage it for certain. There is definitely a puzzle to that boss. So, I get the fire attack. You're supposed to hide behind something as there's this firewall. I don't understand the web mechanics. I do understand the dodging the fireballs. Yeah, I obviously have to get up close, but... Okay. So that boss feels beatable, but I need to figure out what the fuck is going on with it, even. And I'm happy I didn't revive my human form, because I, that, I won't revive my human form during this next time. I, I won't revive my human form until I feel like I have a decent grasp of what that boss even is. Okay, at the moment, I'm just going back to the boss, that's all I really care about. As I said, when I really thought about it, I realized I can get back to this boss pretty easily. Oh, I do have to go through this bit again, though. Web resistance. What would that be like? The one thing that's going to be a nuisance is the dogs, of all things. Actually, no, that's in the upper area. This is fine. I just have to deal with this guy again. He's easy. He's a little pansy. I say that, and of course he hits me for the first time he's ever hit me. Because he is at this right here, he's like in a super easy spot. I run over 
here. Let him do his magic trick. I got blasted twice through him. That's fun. Full moon grass. Uh, fuck it. I will get more healing as I need to for the boss. So basically, I just have to beat the fire enemy and this one goblin enemy that's up here. Go through a rock. I remember you. I can run past him before he fucking comes down and do his thing. The rock's the only thing I'm really concerned about. Now, do I have to bring the elevator back? Let me not fall down an elevator shaft to make sure I fucking know what I'm doing here when I get here. Okay, yeah. So don't run down the fucking elevator shaft. I almost kind of wish they just made it come back on its own. But I also kind of get it. Okay. It's not like the fastest elevator in the world. This is probably the most easiest part of it. It's going to be fighting the boss a few times. I want to explore the arena before I focus on fighting it. I feel like I'm going to die again. I'll get my souls back if I can. But I'm going to mostly um, be exploring the arena to sort of get a feel of what this boss is about. Obviously, you have to go up and hit him. But evidently, getting hit by his fucking web thing over and over again is not the optimal strategy. So I guess we need to figure out what else he has going on with him. Fully heal set points and status elements. That's cool. Okay. Rapid fire. That's just a radius blast. Oh, that's got a wide range. I didn't get my souls back, but that's okay. But you do run back down that tunnel when he's doing that attack. Okay, I got. I have a better idea. I think I might actually be able to beat him this time. I'm gonna do one thing. I'm gonna come back. Uh, I don't really care. I lost my two thousand souls there. I've got a bajillion of souls. That boss seems doable. Now that I've got a better idea, I, I think you just kind of tank him until you need to run away. That's the kind of my impression at the moment. Like. At least I can tank him. There's probably ways to dodge more of his attacks, but... Yes. I know what I'm buying here. I'm a hero soul. Beyond Hero Soul. Beyond Hero Soul. Storied Soldier Soul. And Storied Soldier Soul. I think that's enough for one upgrade. It's not much. Now seek its soul, then touch. I'll get one upgrade that I know I'm gonna spend the rest on. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its Endurance. I do need more of that, but for the moment, I think I need vitality more. Twenty as we go. Round, round. Art thou done? Yep, I know I'm spending the rest of my souls on. Firstly, how's my? Actually, I have a grindstone, but I still should check this. How's this weapon holding up for me? 
Oh yeah, durability needs more. Uh, that means I can fucking use one of these grindstones I just got. And that should return that back to... yep. And I need to talk to you, because I'm buying grass from you. <laughs> Crescent moon... yeah, I just need the small amounts, really. I will buy 15 of these. <laughs> You come back alive. Equip. I could. I'm also gonna try on the fire thing during some of this. I think I can do it next time. I sort of figured out a few things about them. Okay. Yeah. I'm put on the crescent moon grass. Full moon grass can be here in emergency situations. It's grindstone. Just thinking, just thinking. Don't want anything else during this. Don't know. Actually, let me check one thing. It's in trade with your souls. I can eke out a living. Can I upgrade anything? Like, I've been using this a lot. Two. I could do that if I had enough souls. I don't know what that does. Does it just make a new one? Yeah, it looks like it degrades the weapon for some reason. I don't understand why you want to do that. It's called just Shard of Meltstone. But I guess no there's reasons for that. Well, I almost went back to level, which I'm not trying to go to right now. The level I'm trying to go to. I'm also going to turn myself human once. Oh, well, that's the thing I need to equip the human thing. Uh, cause that will reveal- that will turn into a heal, and I'm gonna do that. Not first, though. I'm going to... zone and then failure-wise. Okay. Here we go! I feel like I'll actually meet the spider boss this time. Also, it does like a phase two fucking crazy thing I'm not expecting. I don't fully understand the boss. Now. I feel like it's probably a more optimal strategy than the way I'm gonna be going about, which I'm gonna kind of brute force in it a little bit. But I think I can brute force it, which I guess is kind of important to mention. Oh boy, that could have gone a lot better. <laughs> I also ran by where I wanted to go. I won't heal yet. I'll wait till I beat the fire, Fatso. If I lose my souls in the place that's in Maryland, I was like, I can rid of them, I think. You're not that big a deal. Okay. I'm I wasn't stunning in the Oh, it's because I'm not using double sword. I'm silly. Right side, I told myself I wouldn't heal that. I'm so lucky that you missed that, actually. Full moon grass. Fuck, I'll use one of these right now. Okay, okay. And then the fucking goblin over here is the only other thing I have to concern myself with. He'll drop a rock. He'll jump down himself. But it's easy enough to run past. And remember, the pit's still there. Going over this way, just raise the elevator again. Here it comes back. From the depths, you can see it now. <laughs> Love it. 
locked into position for the animation. I'll watch a wall as I go down and make sure it's like ain't hidden past me. It's just like I'm not gonna stop there at least. Okay. There is actually one more thing I need to make sure I equip. Okay, I do have the fire thing, which I'm gonna use when I get closer to them. I should probably use it before I get up there. Ah, nah, this is fine. Let's do this to it. Get that message out of the way, please. I can't do that when I'm fought. Okay, so I'm not gonna fucking use uh, use any more healing items. I learned something which I wish I knew ahead of time, which is I can't use turpentine when I'm fucking wet. Okay, so I learned something that time, which I'm happy I didn't fucking turn back from a human yet. Um, turpentine, I cannot. So I should use turpentine before I get there. I cannot use the turpentine when I'm wet. So I need to use it before I get there. I wonder if the turpentine would stop, it would probably be extinguished when I get webbed, I assume. But I'll still try it once and see what fucking happens. So moral of the story here, turpentine, web. It cannot be put on when I'm wet. put their fire rods into the water, they just become normal rods. I won't heal until after I'm done with the fire guy up here. I don't have my weapon equipped. <laughs> La dee da dee da. That went a lot more ideally. And he gives me full moon grass, which I am not going to deny. La da 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 da. Use one small grass. I'm going to drop the rock. I assume the rock is placed in just the perfect position. If you're running full speed, it would hit you as you jump on by. But all the same. Now to summon the elevator. And then my stamina back up. Let's spin this thing. Wait for the elevator. Wow. Back down we go. This time, I'm going to put Turpestine on before I get left. <laughs> it probably will extinguish the Turpestine, but this will be an educational experience. I'm not right now. I'm going to first enter the arena. That's the first fireball thing that I want to do. Okay, no, that does not get rid of it.
Yeah. I was about to heal. Right side, yeah, my strategy will probably work as long as I heal a bit sooner than I just did right then. Alright, well I know what I'm doing at least. It's probably a better way to fight this boss. I don't know how you're supposed to avoid its web thing. Especially since I need to go up close to it kill it. But hey, what have you, William? Yeah. There is definitely a better way to do this boss, a hundred percent. But I also think I can just tank it if I just put my mind to it. I'll see if I can not get hit by these guys this time. Did it. <gasps> wait, this is fine. <laughs> For a second, I thought I was falling into a pit. I was like, wait, no, wait, that's the prison cells. So that was fine. Now to go deal with the little wizard guy over here as he has this <laughs> type laughter. Hi, wizard! Wanna blow up these barrels? <laughs> he wants to. He has a great time doing this. He does it every time. Ready for round two, sir? Yeah, he's ready for round two. Round three, sir? Oh, okay. I didn't miss that one. You did good, sir. Shooting two in a row is a good idea. I got away with that. This has been one of my worst attempts against this guy. Oh, I am so stupid. I am so stupid. Well, at least I know what I'm going to do when I get his fucking full flower thing that he always fucking drops. That was one of my worst <laughs> fights against him. But he always does give a full moon grass, and this hikes, I guess I'm using it against him, or against this. Well. It's always nice to carry this over to the boss fight if possible, but at the same time, you know, whatever. Nothing lost, nothing. I did terrible that fight, though. Drop the rock. There it goes. What a strong boy. Now, if we just run back over this way, don't drop down the pit. Said we're gonna run this way and turn and lift the lift. <laughs> lift, lift, lift is a That's a lot more health and stamina than yesterday. See, I've made more progress since yesterday. Comes back up for me. Twist it back. To the spider again. Wow. Can I send that back up? Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. So. I should probably just turn on the Turpestine before I fucking even get in there. It's, it's probably not going to be that effective, but I'll fucking do it. Big old body smash. I don't care though. I'm just tanking you like a fucker right now, really. Honestly, you shouldn't be playing up with my bullshit. That's the one we have to run away from. But I'm not gonna be able to, so I better get ready for fucking healing.
I wasn't able to run away because I was too spider webbed up. Heal, heal. And next time I'm going fucking human when I heal. There we go. Probably was a much better way to fight that fight, but I didn't need it. Oh, there's a shiny over here. Beyond Soldier Soul. Checking the walls just to make sure that everything is good. Everything seems in order. I see some more stuff I can collect over there. I'm sort of just checking the area in the meantime. I'll grab that. Put on the spire stone, but why not? I do. Let's get the spire soul. Heart demon soul, pure spider stone. And I'll go to the arc zone in a second. Let me first. Uh, maybe that's fine. I mean, last it was too long there. There surely must have been a way to get rid of the spam or something. Yeah. Goblins. Uh, Notably, this goblin seems to have more health than the goblins I fought before this. So. I don't know if it's a different type of goblin. Or wait, am I not on my two hand stance? I am on my two hand stance. So yeah, this goblin just has a little more health than the goblins I'm not Notable. Okay. Turn back. Touch Artstone. Yep, I'll return to the next two. Safe Hello first. again. I'm keeping a close watch. Anything you want to talk about? Saints, sages, and all manner of wise men watch over the halls of this nexus. This rejuvenating sanctorium is a fine place for the slayers of demons to rest their weary bones. Sure. I too must contribute how I can, for we are indebted to our honorable defenders. Makes sense. I too must contribute. You have a heart of gold. I can forge weapons for... Be thankful. Nope, nothing new there. What is spider stone used for? That would increase the bastard sword's use quite a bit. I'll think about it. Currently, this... Currently, that's 102. We get 23. So put 77 guilty next. We have quite a few hardstone things. Pickaxe. Lean sphere. Compound short bow. Spike shield. Steel shield. I guess I'll upgrade this, because I haven't used the Bastard Sword really, but I'll try it. Souls. Use that there. Repair equipment. That probably means it's in a fine condition. Yeah, it still has a lot of durability left. Hmm? So when you get around to Dark Souls, are you planning to use the prepared die edition? Or I'm gonna decide that at the time. Because I know I have both, and I'm like, I might just use the remastered one, but then again, I know that there's people that prefer the original. I'll go over that when I decide. That'll be after Demon Souls, so. Are used to upgrade a Craver sick weapon. No clue how that works in Demon Souls. It's definitely the same thing, and they say that in the description, but I've just been eating the souls. You come back alive and eat your business. I feel like I don't need every fucking weapon that they will forge, because I don't really I, I like to home in on one single weapon. I don't really know what weapons are best or anything. Like so, yeah. Thou seeketh soul power, dost thou not? Then touch the demon inside me. 
Sure. Anything you want to say? I keep the candle. That was the same thing as always. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the I, I am tempted to put my faith up. I don't actually use magic, though it does raise my Let magic strength defense. Be granted, so the world um, be mended. Strength is, of course, nice. So the world but, 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 that, that doesn't look like an upgrade at all. It's just my attack power turns into my attack power. I guess dexterity also increases your attack power, but also safe for landing, but it's like does nothing for me right now. Vitality and endurance are the two things that definitely seem to be the best for me at the moment. And right now I need to get to 26 vitality in order to use a giant shield I got, which I want to use. But also I need endurance in order to carry the heavier stuff. And this is the only thing I've seen that improves my equip burden. Drop rate. All right, I will take, I'll just do Vitality right now. It's pretty basic, but yeah. Vitality up. Rowdy, rowdy, round. It's all part of the fun. Because I do need my item murder, and that's probably fine, but yeah. Endurance is pretty much always your stamina and carry capacity, yep. I need to get this to go up. But I also need Vitality to go up. Basically, Vitality and Endurance to use some of the stuff I want to use are the two things I need to focus on upgrading. Plus, those are just good things to have, so... So, I'm gonna be a fool. I don't want the fucking... I don't want the fucking spider weapon. I don't care about what this weapon the spider gives. It's probably, like, the best weapon in the game or something. But, don't mind me. I'm gonna be eating souls. As one does. Hard demon soul. Soul of a demon armor spider. Grants the holder an average, and yeah, I crafted the things. I'm gonna eat it anyway. That was very, very small now amount of soul power, compared to some things I've got. Huh? Well, let me upgrade again, though. Okay, vitality's always good. Do I want to turn my endurance up, though? Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. I'm gonna turn my vitality up. I do need to get that 26. Plus, that's just a good thing to have, and my item burden's fine, too. There that goes. Da, 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 da. Art thou done? Yeah, I'm done for now. Me. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the fireplace. I, I don't think that counted as an arc demon. If it did, I'm very, very surprised. And we're back, yeah. So I don't think the spider counted as an arc demon. Let me see if this will open for me now. It's gonna probably tell me no, it did not. I think color is fog calls me back only to say that they're saying arc speed and they passed me on this point. But that's not me, I, I didn't think the spire was an arch demon. So I'll go back here. I see, I see. That's good to know all the same. Now, here I go. Armor Spider Arcstone. Arcstone, the demon armor spider. The tunnel city. Below the smitting grounds lies a huge tumble, tum tumble, tunnel worthy of its name. It's said a dragon's grave is in the deepest part of the molten area. Am I going to find a dragon's ghost? <sighs> Alright. Let's do it. To the zone I go. Okay. As ready as I'm ever gonna be, so. Well, I can't see you there. I should probably use my other Bastard Sword, because that should be a little more powerful than this sword. Just a little bit. But enough for me to give it a try. I'll try against the next enemy after I kick this one's ass. over there? <laughs> okay, so because I don't have the weight to carry both of them in my things, they count towards each other, and we use this, because technically it's a little bit stronger than this sword. It also has other good stats. Its weight is a little bit more, though. You aren't strong enough to use this one with one hand? What, what did that say? No, I need to fucking... that. 
You aren't strong enough to use this buckle one hand, however, you may use it effectively if you weld it with both hands. Okay. I'll try this sword out. That was a bomb! I was right! How did I know that was a bomb? I, I, I fell for it because I wanted to see what it actually was, but I knew it was a bomb deep in my heart. Well, that was powerful. Deep in my heart, I knew that was a bomb. I still went towards it. Grass. this Come on sirs Okay okay getting a handle on this at the moment Why the sword do so great the first time, and now like it feels very weak compared to the sorry, you only do this. I might just go back to my previous weapon. I'm gonna run away for a second. I felt good at first, but I don't like it's like a lot slower is another thing about it. Plus I can't roll with it at the moment. I definitely need to roll away. This still feels best. About to roll out of the way. Doing this a little bit carefully, I say as I'm about to hit into one of these attacks. Yep. Large Hearthstone charge, check Hearthstone, large Sharpstone star, check Sharpstone. I turn this. Evidently, no. Continue checking this way. Some of the aggressive ones.
was trying to roll backwards. I was even holding backwards. Why did roll me forward? When there's two of them, I don't like them too much. When there's one on one, it's really, really easy. in this more open area. Well, that almost killed me. Would have been really easy to get my souls back here, but you know. I also have lost my humanity. Thankfully, they're really bad at that. I'm doing not that great against these guys, I got no idea. Corpse, I'll take their stuff though, I will definitely not deny their stuff. Probably gonna use all this here. Okay, let's go this way. Because the way I'm slowly clearing out, I can definitely explore other pathways. These are tougher than the goblins in the area before this one. Definitely showing cocoons of some sort of creature that's down here. I'm assuming we're gonna see whatever the cocoon creatures are pretty soon. That's a cliff. I hear an elevator nearby, but I don't see it. What am I missing here? I could probably roll to that, but I don't want to risk that either. I don't think it turned into a butterfly, but it's definitely some sort of uh, insect that's uh, molten, so... I doubt it was into a butterfly, though. That would be pretty fun to see butterflies in my mind, I guess. Is that a platform right there? God, it's hard to tell in the dark. That looks like it's a platform right there. But do I... Does it, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, it's just right here, okay. Took some fall damage, but I did make it. Can I even... Is this, is this a trap? Can I not go down from here without dying? I mean, I guess that kind of looks like something. Kind of? Is that something? It's like a little small pole extended out, but that doesn't look safe. Oh boy. Well, that's the only thing I can kind of see. It kind of looks like something. I didn't make it, I guess. Without dying. This fall definitely its its own turmoil, though. I guess I'm given a choice to either land on this or land on that. I guess I'll land on this, I guess. Brain of disease resistance. Well, that's actually pretty nice to get. <gasps> well, I fucked that up. But actually made it somewhere. 
I just used Turpentine because I thought I had my healing item on the advance, so that was no, I did not. Well, I guess it technically gives me more light. I want to look at it that way. Wait, where am I laying from here? This whole area feels very, very unsafe, but I'm doing it, I guess. The only thing I can think of is to try and roll that. And that was the right call to make, so I'm happy I did that. There's that stuff down there. Is there another place to land? I don't think so. Ouch. Well, I'm definitely descending someplace. I kind of don't think I'm going to live. I've got the distinct feeling that living is not on the cards for me this round. But I'll find what I find, I'll pick up some items, and hopefully I'll make this somewhat worth it. Am I inside of a ribcage? You hear a rumbling game louder in a spooky, dark cave like this. It's not the best feeling in the world. I'm not gonna lie to you. What did I just clip out to see? Is this lava? I should be concerned about that, shouldn't I? What's the most they can do? That's the most they can do? I think I can cheese this thing. I really don't think it might be worth cheesing, but I can definitely think I can cheese it. It's probably very much not worth cheesing. There's two of them now. This feels dangerous in the half, but I'm doing it, I guess, and I am killing it slowly but surely. Probably very much not worth it. I'm really lucky it's not fucking using its fucking ton attack as I used it earlier. I, I, I don't know what this even is. I just figure it's probably not worth this level of cheese I'm doing on it. I am doing this level of cheese on it, so. So I'll do my best. Cheese it best I can. I also want to step back and look at its health. I'm also kind of getting some good hits on right now, so I'm like, yeah.
try and move now more that way. Actually, that's what hit. Is that around half health? I see, I see. Thanks for mentioning. Just... Sort of cheesing, but you know, whatever. It's not the worst type of cheese in the world. Oh yeah, that hurt me quite a bit, so don't get by its jump attack. I can't take one more of those. And then this cheesing will not be worth it. So don't get too close, keep my distance. I'm trying to do it more and more. It's probably because it's almost dead. Tell when it's revving up the attack. I guess I need to. Well, that was the bad. That was my last mistake. I actually rolled forward. When I meant to roll back. That was my dumb ass mistake. I could come back here, though, but I don't think I want to grind them again. I don't really like this direction. I, mean, I only have 385 souls. I'm not going to fucking waste my life with 385 I'll go back here for 385 souls. I'm going to explore the other pathway and just see how far that takes me. That my, I was doing pretty good, but then I accidentally rolled forward when I meant to roll backwards. That was my own darn stupid fault. Yep, that's also... I'm, just, I'm not caring about this. I'm just going to see how far this way I can go. Fuck, that came faster! <laughs> Well, no woes for me, I guess. That thing I wish would have given either, but obviously I won't know. If I go back there, I might, if I feel up to it, I might cheese, try cheesing it again. But I'm not gonna go that way right now. I'm not gonna go out of my way for my souls. Like, oh, I get my souls back. A whole zero? Okay. So this is not gonna be the run I want to do it in. Those enemies caught up. That I wasn't expecting. I was expecting that I was gonna get blown up by the cart. So I could probably cheese the cart way if it actually leads to something. I feel like it might. Let me just take care of these enemies first though. Trying to figure out the radius that bird blows that off. Oh, 
Oh, that's fire guy. I was like, what? What's that? Fuck my life. There's one down here. Don't mind me. I don't know if this is the better idea or the worst idea, but it's definitely an idea. trap. Oh! 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 I can't beat these guys. So I'm going down here. It's not a pit to make me fall down a pit trap that I was running. Oh, it's a bomb! Don't mind me, sir. I'm not expecting to live this life. I'm just exploring. This area seems like a fucking labyrinth. Hey, it's one of the big bugs. This time not in lava. There's another of the bugs. Oh, you're not mad like the rest, are you? Uh, fine well, man. what jolly traveling companions are we? Pleased to meet you. Call me Patches. Oh, see that treasure over there? Go on and take it. My gift to you, just to show that we're friends. Phew! I'm glad to meet you. These soul-starved imbeciles will drive you mad. Sure. I don't I don't trust you one bit, actually. What's the matter? I'm going out on a limb here. Give me a chance to prove my good faith. I know you don't have good faith. Nobody has good faith. They're like, oh, give me a chance to prove my good faith. I wouldn't assume What's that. What's the else. matter? I'm going out on a limb here. Give me a chance to prove my good faith. Fuck it, fine, I'll see what happens if I go over there. This is like such a trap, isn't it? My apologies. It's just not your day. As promised, the treasure is all yours. If you survive, that is. I'm not gonna be able to. Good survive. luck to you. Club. Patches! What if I killed that thing before I went down here, though? Well. <laughs> there definitely is a shiny down there. Before I go for that shiny, oh, there's another shiny over there. I kind of first want to go for this shiny over here. Reowned hero soul. He didn't think that through <laughs> clearly, evidently. So you can just drop down from here, but I'll see what's over here first. Wow. 
Maybe they don't have as much health if they're not in lava. Can I cheese this one here if he does the jump attack? Does that make a difference? Should I grind this one? I don't think this one can attack. It's really a test of patience. I'm gonna attack like this just because it goes faster. Yeah, I, I should do this one. I can see that its health bar is already a lot lower. Uh, I don't think so, but you know I might. I have weapons. Uh, fuck, let's try a few different weapons. Uh, no skills use that one. Club maybe. This is a good chance to test out these weapons, I guess. I shall. I don't actually know what all my weapons do right now. Oh, this one's a good double for this for this particular enemy where it's positioned. I'll wait for this to happen. Why well, I am chipping away at it? That's the right side. Okay, so I'm going to examine. How would I know if it has any sort of status effect? Uh, stat bonus. D E B. Special effects. Uh, Smister. That means fire damage. This one's fire, isn't it? I didn't realize that was a thing, but that one has fire on it, doesn't it? This one does too. Oh, well, that's the one I defaultly use all the time. That's fire effects. If that's what I'm understanding this correctly. I think that's bleed. I see, I see, that, that would actually make more sense. Well, I have weapons that make things bleed. But I don't seem to have anything that will do anything else. I can definitely kill this thing, but... I don't know how you get better weapons. I'm trying to definitely need to figure that out eventually. Upgrade them, but... I'm evidently not very strong in this area. Uh, am I missing some form of strain? It's very obvious I'm not very strong in this area, I would even go as far to say. At least I'm gonna see what killing one of these things actually does. It's almost halfway health. <laughs> it's 
spear does hit it every time at the very least, but is there a better weapon for this that I have? Uh, it's a good to a chance to test weapons. Blessed mace? Not blessed enough, apparently. Oh, this is doing a lot more damage to it, actually. Yep, probably does, but it's doing a lot more to this thing. I don't even remember where I picked this up, I'm gonna be honest with you. That was a normal attack. So invigorating. Might be this creature has high physical defense and low elemental defense. Definitely could be. I wouldn't know. I really wouldn't. I barely understand it. Okay, so what does this thing give? <gasps> explodes, 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 explodes. That does give a decent amount of souls, though, honestly. Carry it overburden. Well, why are you coming back? What can I use to get rid of things burdening me? Actually, I have the hurry look clean rain, don't I? Clean rain, rain of magical dullness. Try a dragon stone. I need to drop off some stuff pretty soon. Where do you think you're going? No, I'm gonna wait for you to come back. I don't wanna fight the fire thing. Looks like it'll spill fire on me, because it will. It's all it does, even. You! How did you do that? Ooh. Tough luck with the bear bugs. But you certainly showed them, didn't you? Go on. Take it. Hey, what? Take I, it. I'm trying to shut up the ass. Arena <laughs> flame resistance. Quite a giggle, mate. You're simply unlucky. Worry not. Stay by me, and my luck will rub off on you soon enough. I don't think that's how it works. I skipped some of your dialogue. I'm sorry, sir. You're simply unlucky. Worry not. Stay by me, and my luck will rub off on you. That's one way to exit that conversation. All right, I'm gonna take the long way to go this way. And pip. Wait, that's a little baby one. I can kill a little baby one. Especially with a blessed weapon. The baby ones not explode? I guess the baby ones don't explode. That's nice to know. Actually, I'm not really even convinced that. They're very cute, but they're very useless. I want to try charging.
They aren't so bad on souls either. When I get health back. I don't even think these can really hurt me, but I'm just not risking it. There go some poor defenseless babies, I guess. Might be a creature as well, probably. I feel bad for the babies. Oh, they can hurt you, just very, very minor. They don't explode like the parents do. Going up here, I'll get some goodies before I leave this area. A great axe. How, why can I carry that but not the great starge stone? What, what's my stats even like in terms of weight? Oh, it's because I picked up the Hercules ring. Right, right. Sorry, Mama Bear. Those can leap forward. Yeah, th that defense is not worth doing it for. The parents have big, big defense. Shard of Dragonstone, times two. The problem is I have nowhere to go but down from here. I could maybe survive that, but that doesn't look ideal. Here's open, yep, just enough, barely enough size to fucking squeeze through. Easy peasy. It's very, very quiet in here when the worm isn't spurring, like this worm flame stuff. There's the worm. I'm gonna go down this trail. These are like teenage ones, so I got supplies. We're seeing all the stages of evolution of these fuckers today, aren't we? They don't give as much experience as the babies, which is a little bit surprising. Just taking care of what I can. There it goes. We're just learning about the evolutionary chains of these things. But oh, there's a fireworm. A couple fireworms. That taught me something, which is I should go the way which I, yeah, different way. Char Dragonstone. Mama Bear, you don't want to fight, do you? You're not full-fledged. Well, you're enough of a full-fledged one, I guess, to be a problem. I can probably defeat those worms, but I kind of want to try because they keep on spewing fire. That doesn't seem nice. <laughs> I should have dropped down from the thing. I was wondering about that earlier. Oh, oh, I can talk to you. <laughs> oh, hey! Remember me? I've got plenty of wares, so bring me plenty of souls. <laughs> have you heard? Deep below this mine, there's a dragon shrine. That's not exactly what I expected to spawn on top of me here. Come on, fly, move away from him. I don't want to hit him. But you're like right there. Shard of Dragonstone. <laughs> Have you heard? Deep below this mine, there's a dragon shrine. Filled with dragon bones. I think I was there well, earlier, actually. According to little Skirver, anyway. I'm not about to go and find out. Those bear bugs scare the living daylights out of me. <laughs> I think you're in the best spot if they scare the daylights out of you. Just call this a uh, consideration. Press moon grass. Oh, you raised your prices to match his. That makes me a little sad. 
fossilized with lava, enhances the straight sword, attacks hammer, and so on. Nor the power of fire. I'm gonna pick up a lot of those here. Pickaxe, dagger. I guess I need fucking these. I'll buy this many. <laughs> Hello there. Bless your souls. Fly things. Please move away from the edge. Well, fuck you guys too. Oh, this slowly heals me when I'm holding it. I guess that's why it's blessed. I was actually wondering why I was getting health back, but now I'm sort of paying attention. I'm getting slowly health back when I carry this thing. Come over here. Well, well, well. Yeah, I'm very, very slowly getting health back when I hold this thing. That's nice. You wanna come up here? Any of you? You know, cowards? Decided to finally land. I'm just trying to collect your souls. Letting myself heal now that I realize the sort of thing I was holding. More Dragonstone, come over here. Buggy. Slow. Oh boy. That almost pushed me into the fucking fire pits. That would have fucking sucked. The last two just sort of buzzing around there. You guys want any? No. Okay. I thought that might get one of them on the blue round. What do you think you're doing? <gasps> we can't get our own measy. Sorry, I didn't know I realized you were there. I just want to move away from them. If the flies decide to follow me, then I'll deal with them. I can go back up here, can't I? How am I getting the fuck out of this situation? Uh, da da da. I'm gonna have to send some thoughts on this one. I'm being a little bit quiet because I'm sort of just thinking about things. Wanna come down? Come on, come on. That's the spirit. That's what I want from you, too. I kind of thought that was going to summon another one of those worn things, but. A little bit closer. I'm going to move a little more this way.
Come on, come on. Don't be so scared, bear bug. Ah, oh, now I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to fall off a cliff into a molten magma pit. Another one bites the dust. Tried landing, kind of failed. I should have just ran past him when I had a chance to. Those things are kind of moving at once. Just keep spewing fire as long as they want to. Passage out of here, but also storied soldiers. Soul. I'll go into this cave, sure thing. Why not? I'm just exploring. Don't mind me. Getting my health slowly back with this thing. Ooh, soul. Just want to see what happened with all of them. Do I have a ring that lets me do that? I really don't think I do. Let me look. Clean ring. Lose less hit points. Lowers magic power. Raises magic defense. Raises resistance against plague. Raises poison resistance. Raises poison resistance. Raises resistance bleeding. Raises fire resistance. Actually, that might be nice in this place. I raise maximum item burden. Clean rain and hurricane. I need the two I have on right now, though, because I'm like full otherwise if I take the other one. And one of them gives me more health, which is useful, obviously. Let's go into the darkness first. Maybe I should check to see where the light leads to. One does leave up, and one leads down. I'll go this way first. What is that? Oh, that's another bear bug. Does this lead back to where I just was? It 100% does. They both led to the exact same place. You know what? I can lure him down one tunnel and then the other one will be okay. In fact, that's exactly what you're supposed to be doing with this. Also, dragon bones. Okay. I kind of think could this thing even fucking turn around these tunnels? I'm definitely gonna find out. I don't think this thing can attack you to get behind it. Like, as long as it's not in lava, it can do its lava splash attack. La -de -da -de -da. Wait for this to go back up. Yep, I'm killing this thing. Then we're on the way like a little bitch when it decides to explode. Roundy round. So yeah, bear bugs from behind, splitting on lava, are nay like useless. They they can't do anything to you. All their attacks are forward facing. Of course they'll explode, but we'll get to that when we get to that. I was working on the bear bug all the live long day. I was working on the bear bug just to pass the time away. Gonna wait a good old second just to see if it'll die. I was hitting it all over again. Oh, it's almost turned around. It's almost managed to turn around. Okay, let the stamina go back up. Almost.
almost dead, and I'm gonna have to run very, very shortly. Honestly, in real life, that would cause a fucking cave in. But hey, this isn't real life, is it? Shard of Dragonstone. That's a bomb. I remember this. I fell for one of you almost last time. Either you turn enough for me to get past you, or we're going to have a really fun time here today. Oh boy. Oh boy. When you die, I'm going to hope that your corpse turns to a fucking ragdoll so I can get out of here. That or you turn enough so I can actually get out of you. Oh boy. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Now we just do this bit for a bit. Hopefully it doesn't turn around fast enough, because that's the only position where it can really do anything to me. It's trying to turn around. They see it trying to turn around. Now if only I can kill it before it can turn around in time. <sighs> Waiting on for a little bit more. Wow, look at this thing go. Such a cutie. <laughs> almost dead, though. It almost turned around. Oh, it's not almost turned around. It's more like it's uh, almost 90% turned around. Wow. Hold those horses. We'll see when this bear bug turns around for good. Yeah, I'm going to be able to kill it before it turns itself fully around. Wow, another one by its dust. Oh, there's a human on under it. Shard dragon stone <laughs> that I wasn't expecting. Chunk of clear stone. La -de -da -de -da. They're actually pretty good for grinding souls, because they give you like 2,000, at least for my baby level perception of this stuff, that seems pretty good. Do you know my tunnel tracks? This one should lead back to where I was with the bomb thing on the other side, if I'm not mistaken, to the left. Dragon bones. It's been a very long dragon for all these dragon bones I've been walking through today. This level is so labyrinthian. Oh, is this where I came from initially? Like, that one time I fucking fell down the fucking pit? This is exactly there. I landed literally right here. I can't believe I'm starting to get a sort of a grasp what this area is like. Anyways. Floating. <laughs> da, 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 da. And that means this lava pit over here was the one lava. I, I saw like a lava direction, but I decided not to go there because I was like, okay, whatever. Yeah, this way. And this is the point where I was trying to grind these things. They were in a nice lava pit like they like. I'm just looking around for catches up to me. I'm not going to grind these two. Now that I sort of know what they are, I'd never seen them before when I got here originally. Those I know there's literally one right here. That was worth it, actually.
these ones are actually are better than the other ones because, like, in terms of fighting back, they have lower defense, but they're a lot faster, which makes up for all the weaknesses to them. How's it going? I'm just killing bear bugs. Yeah, but their weakness is that their fucking butts don't do jack shit. And the, like, this one can jump, but the big ones can't really jump. At least not when they're in, like, in tunnels and lava and all that. I wonder if these explode. They do explode. Wow. Didn't drop anything though for me. Oh well. Just want to see what's down that little baby tunnel. So that's the lava way. And that, this is where I initially came from, but there were more tunnels this way too, I remember that. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of souls. I could use one of the things to return, but I'm not going to quite yet. Given I might be close to a dead end, actually I don't know if I'm close to a dead end yet or not. Have I been here? I'll go down. I have definitely not been here, because I would have definitely picked up whatever this is. Oh, I got, oh it's one of those light things. Going on deeper down the tunnel. Honestly, these tunnels are pretty lax. Like, I like them, but they're pretty lax compared to a lot of other things I've done so far in this game. Not that that's a bad thing. So I remember I didn't turn the torchlight way, I went the other way. I go backwards and go the torchlight way. Is this where I was earlier? If I go this way and there's a fucking torch at the end of this little tunnel. I'm gonna think I went back the way I came. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just went backwards. Yep. Because I destroyed these things before. It's weird that I could recognize that specific tunnel. Be like, oh wait, I've definitely been here before. So now I go this way. And now I'll go the torchlight way. Which is over here. I think this is where the exploding light was above me. Nope, never mind. This is back here. Lava, and that leads back to the entrance. This is the only way to go. I took a left there. Yeah, this is back here. Since I took a left there, that means I'm going to be taking a left here. Pretty sure I've gone down here, but maybe I'll find another passage I've missed somewhere. Okay. No, I think they just kind of loop into each other, actually. Hmm. How do I get over there? Definitely not with a roll. I don't think I've been here actually. I went to the left. I'll go this way first. I see magma, but I'll just take a look, see what the magma looks like. I'm assuming I'm eventually going to uh, clear the lava, just because I see a soul there. Or maybe I can do something to walk on fucking lava, I don't fucking know. Let's go this way. Mm -hmm. 
dragon long sword. Huh. Okay. This should lead back to the double way, which I went this way last time, so let's go see what's over here. Crisscrossing. crossing, that's an explosive. that thankfully. Though I do also have healing right now. This just leads back here. This is the other side where I found the one bug and I was just kind of, well, maybe it isn't? But I'm pretty sure it is. I'll go this way first. Yeah, I've definitely been here before. Yeah, it leads back here. I have an idea if I can't find anywhere else to go, but then I feel like there's a little bit more to these tunnels than I've explored so far. So, if nothing else seems correct, though it doesn't look great, uh, currently one of the only ideas I have, which I will show when I get to the end of this place. Have I not been over here? What the fuck is this place? This is not where I was expecting to go with this. No, I've definitely. Yeah, here it is. Do you think I could survive that fall? It kind of doesn't look like I would. No, I don't think I would. Hmm. It kind of looks like where I'm generally headed to get to eventually, but... I'm not going to risk it. I don't think I can survive that fall anyways. Moving on back. Hopefully there's more tunnels I haven't explored. Oh, I'm not going to do it. I've got too many souls on the line to risk that at the moment. This is the dead end. I'm just going to see if there was like something I missed. I didn't really think there would be, but you never know. Over there's the magma way. Of course, I don't believe I can walk on magma. And generally speaking, magma is just a bad idea to fuck with. So let's go this way. I do have fire resistance, but I don't think I have that much fire resistance. So I do have the reen of fire resistance. Hmm. Something to think about. So I've been through all these corridors before. I'll just fucking see where I end up. This leads back to the one place. I'm just going to see if there's like a tunnel I missed over this way. Just because I didn't really keep track there. Even if I just end up back where all those fireworms were. That might be okay. Yeah, I never went this way, did I? Or the other way. I did go this way. And then this is where the fireworms are, right? Yep. Is there more to this, though? Actually, let me do something while I'm here. Because I'm on good health right now, and this recharges my health. These little bastards are annoying. They're not- they're kind of like... Okay. Shard of Greystone. They're killable, just it's a little bit hard to get close to them because they're fucking spewing lasted like it's fucking nobody's business. They also get stunned. They're very easy to stun. Once you get them to the stun position, that actually makes them pretty dealable now that I sort of figure that part out. Stone. Little bugger fly, you wanna fucking finally fight me? You're the last one that needs to fight me. I'll go over this way now that I've got confidence to fight the worms. Oh, are you the bugger fly? Oh, 
Bug or flies, bug or flies. The tight spots kind of make these uh, worms a little bit trickier to fight, though. Needed? That one almost already dead? Why? I guess I'm killing this one before anything else. Time to eat some grass. stone what's down this pathway chunk of hard stone which means I can finally get these treasures over here which I wanted to get towards I was a little bit I just wasn't believing in myself enough that I get there I'm getting more confident against these enemies Definitely trying. And accuse of not trying. Oh boy, oh, you actually did that to my advantage. Wow! And chip away at you for a little bit. Look at all the bloody murder I'm doing to a bunch of insects inside of a cave. Oh boy, oh boy. For a second I thought that was getting really badly for me. Also, the slowing scales are pretty cool. And it wasn't really their intention, but... Okay, places to drop down to get goods like here. Wow, <laughs> that looked dangerous for a second. Dark heater shield plus two. Huh. Oh, you're still on high alert. <laughs> that attack was an accident, sir. There were a bunch of bear bugs I had seen with its big glowingness next to you. It wasn't an intentional trying to fuck you over. There's another right there. Floating ones are my favorite. Okay, there's another treasure here to get to drop down onto somehow. It's like below this. Yep. Stone. Oh, it's another one of those. I'm getting a lot of those lately. Okay. You guys almost caught up. I'm coming down to actually get you. You decided to come down for the party. Alright, almost have enough to kill you. Voila! Those two flies taken care of. I am deathly amassing souls for mass murder here. That's okay. Extermination is not a bad thing. Unfortunately, I am at the point that if I die, I will probably come back for my souls. I'm semi-tempted to return to the Nexus, but I kind of just want to explore this corner of the earth and collect all the items I can. I have definitely been getting a lot of items from this. Don't worry, I'm no longer afraid of you. Worms. You look intimidating. You're not actually as intimidating.
learning my way through these things. You're simply unlucky. Worry not. Going back. Actually, have I actually ever been up here? I don't think I've ever been up here. Evidently not, because I would have definitely have collected this if I had been up here before. Chunk of sharp stone. Okay. Checking out some bridge this way. Another item. Unknown hero soul. If one can get in a mass of items, somewhere hidden in demon souls. Yeah, I'm not gonna try dropping down there. I probably could do it. I'm gonna go for the other bear bug now that I'm sort of confident against them. Partially because they're piss easy, but you yeah, know. Running back down as I go, as I go. Excuse me, wormy. They're one of the medium sized ones, not one of the super big ones. Which means they can turn faster. Oh, oh. You did the worst thing you could have done right there, but sure. Give a second. I was killing a medium-sized bear bug all the live long day. I've literally killed several dozen of your companions all the live long day. Rowdy, rowdy, rowdy. Easy to kill. That's the name. Why is like why do people act scared of these things? They're like a giant bear bug I'm gonna face. Probably. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if the boss this area is like the fucking queen bear bug. That make a fucking lot of sense because I'm seeing all the fucking like different larva stages of the bear bugs at this point. Do the thing that was disadvantageous to itself again. And now I run away from the explosion. Wow. Didn't drop anything though. Did give me souls though. Okay, I have definitely raided this place for what it's worth. This is like suicide, but I fucking want to see if I can hit this thing. Well, that was suicide. I'll come back here. The souls are right there. I remember how I got here. Just don't die. I shouldn't have gone for that. I don't even know why I went for that. Just I have like this craving. Be like, I want to get that. Thankfully, I know exactly where I was. I'll fight these goblins, actually. Yeah, this weapon is so much better against enemies in this place. Side, this weapon will actually heal me back, so. Should I wait for that to come to me, or should I go to it? Is it even coming towards me? I don't think it's moving. I am recovering health, though, as I wait here. Super duper scary. There are several pathways. That I should go back to where I was. I shouldn't think about taking another pathway. I should probably heal before I go fight that fucking jester. I'll run down the hallway at a leisurely stroll because there's going to be a jester right to the right of me. I need to resummon this elevator. And you know what? I'm going to just fucking run away from you. I could eat grass, but also I'm holding an item that recovers me, but I don't want to risk it too hard on account that I want to get all those 10,000 souls back. 
But I definitely need to kill that guy, because I need to summon the elevator back up. And I can't really do that and just fucking wait for his fucking <laughs> guy does his little clown act and shoots fire swallows everywhere. Uh, if only I had a distance day for times like this. I guess I do have the bow and arrow. I haven't used it at all, though. Maybe this is the time to. Except if, I, if I'm not carrying the weapon I'm carrying, I don't get the free heal, though. So maybe that's not the best idea. Uh, do I want to waste grass? No, I should save grass for emergency situations. This isn't really an emergency situation. It's just a little bit of a game of patience. I was taking a stroll, walking as I do the walk. Look at me all go on, waiting for things to return. Spin the spin the spin up. I probably should just go and like counter. Oh, can he counter fireball magic? He does do a melee attack eventually. Also, I don't have my shield out. That might have been nice to notice a while ago. Would a wooden shield do fucking anything against a fireball? I feel like that's a bad idea. I played Legend of Zelda. That gets rid of your shield. <laughs> Do I have enough health to run in for one more strike, get hit, and then run away like a little pansy? <laughs> That's the real questions you have to ask yourself in these sort of situations. Uh, but no, I should be better. It's better to save than sorry in a scenario where you are trying to get your souls back. Quite a few souls that you don't want to lose. So yeah, I'll take it the safe gateway. Okay, me. Wait, so that should be enough health to probably deal with the guy. But I just want to be like extra super sure as it recharges from here to there. Having fun there, Jester. You and I can look at each other real funny like. You're camping, I'm camping. Oh. I heard the movements, the sound he was responding to. That's kind of interesting. It's kind of funny, actually. All right, here we go. I mean, as long as you're staying next to this, it's kind of pathetic, sir. Say, as I get hit by that. Okay, now I run back here and heal. I shouldn't have called him pathetic. Evidently, that was the magic sauce that ruined the kettle. I should, I should probably use grad. No. There's also the scary things downstairs. The red knight thing. I'll deal with them when I deal with them. I'll eat a single penny grass. Just to move this process a little bit along, but I'm not going to use another thing of grass on this. I'm going to be the patient man. I don't like these gestures, Sam. I am. I don't like them. I don't think I have a good defense against them. I guess you could roll to the side, but I've got a slow roll right now, and I don't want to get rid of my armor. <laughs> Or the club I'm using, which is actually what's put me over the weight limit, actually. Okay, I'll wait a second just for the health to recover. But then, I'm going in for the kill. I'll wait till... I could definitely take one hit right now, but I couldn't take two hits. And as long as he rapid fires the fireballs, I should probably wait till it gets to the end of the line. And then once it's at the end of the line, that makes sense to go for it. <sighs> There's definitely more tunnels in this place I haven't fully explored, though. As I learn, as I go, all the way from to the show. Will this be good for the difference? I don't think I can move when I heard that bit. Look at that health slowly fell its way back to the top. Okay, I think that's about enough to be able to do the job. Of course, I want to be a little bit precautious all the same and make sure I don't fucking die on my way to get my souls. So I'm being a little bit too precautious, probably, but hey. 
I'll wait till it gets to the little gauge then. It's right there. Come on, Bar, you got this! Just a little more. You can do this! Wow, it's about to cross the thirst hold. There it goes! Now I've got that little extra bit of health to make me feel nice and safe at home. Alright, I'm going in. <laughs> I should feel my slap. Do you lose interest in me that quickly? Are you blind? Is this enemy blind? <laughs> Full moon grass. It's blocked that way at least. Alright, this is the thing that brings the elevator back, right? Turn that crank. I need the elevator back. You know, if the red soul things were on it, that'd be kind of scary. I don't see the red soul things on it. I, oh, right. I probably ran past it so fast. I didn't realize this was here. I get of guidance. So the thing which I want to get is down here, but I'm partially tempted just to see what's down here for a second. I think it was a fucking man. Oh, okay, it's a goblin. I mean, that's definitely doable. Oh boy, I say it's definitely doable, and then I get fucking ass handed to me by it. In fairness, it was very hard to see. Actually, is the goblin's. Oh, wait, right, this is actually in place already. I'm gonna be patient with this goblin. I know the goblin can only do one, like, sort of sweep like that, but I don't want to fucking die to a goblin when I think I'm over being overconfident about it. I'll eat one thing in the grass. Wow. Are you fucking... <gasps> I just almost fucked that up, but I was lucky because the goblin was being fucking stupid. Well, that was unlucky, but lucky at the same time. It's one of those unlucky, lucky moments. I'm happy I ate that grass. I kind of forgot the goblins had a leap attack, not gonna lie to you. That would have fucking sucked. I should probably just go... I don't want to go downstairs yet, though. Downstairs where the red phantoms are. I kind of want to rejuvenate some health, so I kind of want to explore this tunnel, but then there might be something else that might kick my ass. Being a little bit too cautious is sometimes a bad strategy. Sometimes being a little more upfront and murderous works better, actually. But I'm on, I'm on caution because I don't want to lose my 10,000 souls, so I've been cautious of almost died to the fucking last two enemies I've just fought, so. You know. Maybe I should wait for a little more health before I break this and see what's fucking on the other side. Probably another fucking goblin or something, but. Could be like an explosion trap. It could be a lot of things behind this. Could be a fireworm. I kind of see fire on the other side. It's probably just a torch, but I've got the suspicion maybe it could be like a fucking explosion trap. I'm breaking. It. Okay, now it's just. Wait, is that a torch? Yeah, that's a torch. Okay. I haven't been this way. I mean, worms could pro worms are probably going to burst forth from here. And I know how to fight the worms, but I'm not in good health for it right now. But this, from the little bit of experience I have, this looks like a worm fighting area. Wait. I hear the cheening. The cheening where the phantoms appeared previously. If phantoms fucking appeared right here. I'm going to fucking scream if that fucking happens. I don't want to fight phantoms. 
Phantoms are the reason I'm like being a little bit hesitant around down the elevator is there's those red phantom things that chase you. I'm faster than them, but they're still not the greatest thing. Maybe that's just a shiny sound I hear? Hopefully. I feel like it's probably worms that are gonna spawn when I get over here, because this would be like the first time they encounter worms if you had any yet. I am 100% correct. I'll retreat for the second. Lauren doesn't have a very good distance attack. It's lying that fire like nobody's business. The worms can't really move, so once I activate them and know where they are, it's kind of okay. It's one of the shiny lizards, isn't it? They always lead to traps, though, so I'm not going to do that right now. I can ignore that worm. It's not blocking anything. That one's kind of blocking something I kind of want, but... I'll wait till my health's back up and I'll probably get hurt a little bit by it and blah 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 blah. You know, drill. Look at that thing go. Such an excited little wormy. Just wanted to break that so there's a little more room around it whenever I do with my uh, fantastic moves against it. Alright, just enjoying quite the show right now. <laughs> Listen to <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh, they got a little more saints. That one's kind of on me a little faster. It's like a little bit excited about this. I was just kind of going at a slightly slower pace. Well, this one's just keeps on going and going and going. Definitely excited. Okay, do I have enough health back where I think that I can take this out okay? I think so, but sometimes it's better to be better safe than sorry. Especially when you have 10,000 souls in the life. Yep. I'm gonna find their sink again. Look at them go. <laughs> Great timing. There's that one dead. Is there another enemy over here before I claim my prize? I probably bet not. Oh, there's two over here. Large sarpstone shard. Sure. Large clear stone. I'm gonna run out of inventory space eventually. Where's my wake currently at? Yeah, yeah, my iron burden stuff again up there. When I fully fill my iron burden, I'm probably, and once I get my souls back, I'm probably gonna use the nexus to get out of here. So here's the real question. I don't really need to bother with that worm. He's not going anywhere. I already got a thing that was tied to him. The shiny lizards are never a good idea to chase. They always lead to traps. Like, always. I guess he did not lead to a trap. I should have pursued them a little bit more thoroughly. Oh well. I'm, I'm just going to accept I'm probably never going to get a shiny lizard. They're pretty, though. I have almost my full health back, so I can go back down the elevator and fucking... Deal with the Red Knights. I'm not looking forward to it, but I will be able to get my souls back as long as I remember which way I ran. Okay, gonna give it a second just to get my full health back before I go down there. Uh, well, not all the way, but like really, really close enough by the time I'm done with the elevator, right? I'll have it all the way back. I guess that's probably good enough. Let's do that. Now, if there's some shiny lizards and they run a direction, the answer is run the other way. Lizards are a fucking trap in this case. I learned that last time. I remember that there's a pit trap here. And the way that I left everything and my souls are, there's like a bent. <gasps> Explosion trap! 
I forgot about the explosive trap too late. I'll actually eat grass in this instance. I can buy more grass with like 10,000 souls. There's gonna be a goblin that's like right there. I'm going to ignore him and go this way instead. And this will pretty much lead to a straight path to where I left my souls. All of the enemies are going to be respawned, but they're not really that deadly. I don't know how to deal with literally all of them. I mean, I can be on the safe side, but I'll get my souls before I do anything else. Before I fucking care about any of this shit, I'm fucking going to first go for my souls. Right, this isn't the best way to get here. I can draw from here. I'm gonna take whatever gets me to my souls safer. And then I can fight everything here and get everything, all their souls, and yeah. And I'll go back to the goblin way eventually. This is when I run away. And fucking heal with grass. Like, I'm even gonna. I'm so wanna get everything back, I'm just gonna fucking use a full moon grass. I think I can survive this, but I don't even wanna fucking risk it in this example. So I'll probably be fine, but it, I don't wanna even fucking risk that I won't be fine after doing that. It's probably up where I fell, isn't it? That would make sense. They usually spawn it where you fell if you fell. I thought I'd be down here where I landed, but come to think of it, usually when you fall, they usually spawn in where you fall, don't they? Okay, so it's where I fell, that means it's at the very top above here. This is where I fell to die, but I guess it is true that usually when you fall at uh, a soul spot where you fell, it's where you, where you like, fell. Like, I, I think I made sense of that. I'll fucking leave you guys for later. I get my stamina back, I have to climb this place back up. I'm going for the souls. <laughs> Does mean I have to deal with these worms up here, which is a little bit of a nuisance, but they're dealable. I'm gonna step back in this instance, just because I really don't want to risk my life. I'll eat some grass. I'll, I'm gonna run out of grass soon. So I'm just gonna wait for this to heal after I use that thing of grass. Why is there just a fucking party of them over there? Do I have something that I can fucking throw at them? Game up is so much harder than the game down. <laughs> I'm gonna move away until they fucking stop vomiting all the fucking time and fucking sink with each other, being a wall of vomit. Fortunately, that's the only way up. Hello, sir. Well, they're literally not going to stop. So I have to roll away and kill them one at a time. Now at least there isn't three of them vomiting. There's only two of them vomiting. <sighs> I wish they would vomit themselves out, but they're not going to. They have an unlimited supply of magma. Yep. 
Yeah, at the least of the maze, I can just stand here and slowly regain my health. Bit by bit. As I said, I wanted to get rid of one of them because three, two was easier than three, but of course I won't be really comfortable until there's only one left because obviously they're fucking making a wall of fucking magma vomit right now. Hopefully they're having fun with that. There was like the best opportunity I could have gotten there, but I'm not back fully unhealth yet, so I'll let myself get a little bit more before I rush back in. Especially since it's very likely I'll get hit twice. Well. I should probably just fucking take care of the small guys. Like the flying things while I wait for them. It's something to do and I'll get my health back. I'm not going to risk getting close to the edge. That just sounds like a bad idea. Most of them are gonna fall for that because they just fucking go. I'm booking it to them. Fucking it. Oh, oh, I thought you were dead, dead. Okay, take your shiny. Was over here where I fell. No, it was above me. I kind of knew that. But I need to get past them anyways, because they lead on the way there. I have to kill babies again. Oh, these are the flies. Very lazy for flies. Thankfully, the flies don't explode. Wow. Take care of everything else later, but for now, I need to carefully get back to where I was. The babies can hurt you, but they're very, very, very incapable. They don't even hurt like the ever by them. Probably lock on to it. Then I don't miss. The babies don't explode. The babies can hurt you, but like barely. They just like kind of shove at you. It's the me, it's the medium one that's coming. That I'm a little more. Not in a huge way, though. You did the thing that made it worse for you. not help you. Like doing the opposite of what would help you. Okay. Did a little bit of a charge. Just a little bit though.
The charge will hurt you a little bit if it like charges into you, but it's very hard for it to do that. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Killing these things I got. Now these do explode. Hear that worm having fun. And this should be pretty close to where I fucking dropped off all my souls. Ah, look, all my souls. Well, that feels good. Da 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 da. Now I'm gonna probably try and return home pretty soon, but I'll, I'll explore a little bit more before I do this. Not to mention, I'll get more souls if I kill more of these little bear bugs. These ones could barely even hurt me. These specifically. Wow, wow, wow. Now there that is. I went up here once before. I'll kill the big mama that can barely do anything. Should I kill this worm that's just over there being its wormy self? Yes, I will. Just to get out of the way and to get souls. So this technically is its head, I don't know what worry it's going to do with like its front attack. I kind of don't think it's going to. I should just lock, I should just lock onto it, shouldn't I? Locked onto it. Wow. This will give me a lot of experience or a lot of like um, souls, but it's gonna be a little bit tedious, as these things usually are. I only have, I think, about half health. I see it's health bar correctly right there. Yeah, it's about half health at the moment. Wow. Look at it shake. Look at it wiggle. Oh, hello there. I hope you're having fun from Brazil. I'm sorry I only just thought now. I was a little bit distracted trying to get my skills back. Look at it wiggle. Look at it shake. Hitting this off with a mace. It's almost dead. Just a few more hits to go, then run away, because it's going to explode. Yep, it's right at the verge of the end of its life. Now to get away as fast as I can. Went. You're simply unlucky. Worry not. <laughs> Did that thing blow you away? Stay by. Stay by you. You just fucking blew up. Let me get this thing though. Shard of Dragonstone. You kind of deserve that though, to be fair. Okay, okay. So medium-sized one. Should I just use the thing? You know what? I'm going to do one more thing in these tunnels, and then I'm going to call that good. I'm not going to kill everything in here and get the most souls I can get. I could probably get a lot more souls if we go down to the tunnels and kill more of the bear things. I'm kind of happy and don't want to risk having the 16,000 lost. I say that as I have to do something a little bit riskier than what I'm even suggesting. There was a goblin here that attacked me before, and there's a tunnel I didn't go down. I just want to see what that's about, especially when I'm here right now. Wow. 
Ah. Large hearthstone. Shard of stuff. Oh, it's like a little explosive area. That looks dangerous. Should I take the time? Wisely, I should probably do go the other way right now. But foolishly, part of me wants to continue. Get a few more souls and see how far I can get. That doesn't help you. The thing that actually hurts you. I don't understand why you do that so often, medium sized bed bug. I call it bed bug, but I guess it's called bear bug, so. Next head should make it get knocked out. That's gonna explode, so I should get away. Wow. Look at it go. Shard of Dragonstone, another one for me. I'm gonna get up to 18,000, because then I can get like three upgrades back. <laughs> that was like a stupid thing to work towards. So I almost fucking walk off the cliff again. That'd be fucking embarrassing. But, yeah. I see at least one flying thing that wants me to kick its ass, so I'm gonna go do that right now. Hey, buddy. Never tell you I'm gonna kick your ass. Wow. One, two, three. Next one up. Bad about a swing. Get this back so I go a little bit like, oh. Or miss both. Oh, it's because I'm not targeted onto it. I was like, why am I not hitting it? I'm not fucking going off a cliff just to deal with you flying fuckers. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. Come to me. I'll go to. I'll have you guys come to me, but I don't really want to go to you guys. closer. Come a little bit closer. There you go. That's the spirit, buddy. I'm not getting close to the ledge for you, for the record. But that's what you're hoping one drop more dragonstone. Hopefully I find a good use for dragonstone because I've gotten a lot of it today. Alright, these worms are skippable, but I can also kill them. Look at that dragon go. A oh, dragon I mean worm. I 
I, that was a little bit confusing. Locking out of those things is like a confusing mess, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, okay. I'll beat the first bear bug down here, and then after that, I think we'll use the Nexus out. I feel like I've explored. I, I don't think I'm 100% done with these tunnels, but I feel like I've explored these tunnels quote unquote enough. And then I'm gonna try something stupid once I spent all my souls. Let's go over here. There should be a beautiful little bear bug that's over here that needs to travel its way from one side to the other. Look at this little fella go. What an adorable little guy. He's the last enemy I'm going to kill and I'm going to go back to the Nexus. So I'm going to let him continue going that way. And now I'm going to do a sneakeroo and go down the other tunnel. Sorry, fellow, that ain't going to work. Just going to chip away at your health. Like this. One, two, three! He already gets the general idea. Then you do it a few more times. It's a little repetitive, yes. Wow. One, two, three! And now he's almost a half health. Now he's at a half health. About. Could be a she. No, I shouldn't judge. Get these things around. Wait for it to gain its composure. Run right back. One, two, three. One, two, three. And this will give me 2,000 souls. I'll have over 20,000 souls. And I go back and get some upgrades. That'll be pretty cool, actually. But now I'm going to have that moment where I'm like, well, actually, though, if I'm at 20,000. And I can almost get to 24,000 if I killed two more. But I'm not going to fall to that temptation. I told myself something, I should stick to it. Not to mention, even though these things are pretty harmless to me, um, it's better to be safe than sorry sometimes, especially when you have a lot of right on the line that you don't want to lose. They tell you in casinos, you uh, take your winnings when you feel like the winning is good, you don't try and test your luck, you go on out. And that's wise advice to many things in life, really. Now, let's ignore this would definitely cause a cave-in in real life. Let's go over there and take your... Oh, well, this is a sign that I should definitely leave. Uh, okay, is there anything I want to get rid of? Da -da 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 -da. Item burden limit. And how much is the Dragonstone? Because it's definitely Dragonstone, because they keep on dropping. So I need to get free up to 1.0, or something like that. Probably like a large dark stone though. Shard of millstone. Hmm. What can I do to lower myself down a little bit? Actually, go back here. How is this stuff sort of holding up? Not that. That's 79 out of 120. I've been using this mace a lot recently. Where is my blessed mace I've been using? There is blessed mace. Oh no, it's still pretty good. How much does the grindstone stuff take up in space anyways? 0.3? Hmm. I'll use the grindstone, why not? To throw a shield away? 
Yeah, shield's the next thing. Equipment. Shield, 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 shield. That would be under this menu. Yeah, I don't need the slave shield, you're right. Drop that, drop item. Slave shield, drop that, drop item. Probably should have dropped them on top of the thing which I want to pick up. Drop. Dragon so it's because it was two shards of dragon so that makes sense. I'll leave the shields there and that is definitely a sign that I'm about ready to leave this place. I am overburdened. Okay. La -di -da, -di -da, -di -da, -di da 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 What's the thing that returns you back to the Nexus? I think it's Shard of Ashstone or Arkstone sends user back to the Nexus and I assume it doesn't make you lose any souls. The Arkstone, uh, the monumental trust of the others have been forgotten. They are now left for the mice to not. So, like, the Nexus binding will... You or souls can remain trapped in the Nexus, yeah. The Nexus binding sends the user back to the Nexus upon death. But all souls collected will be lost. And this one doesn't say that all souls will be lost, so... This has to be the way to return to the Nexus wherever you are and not fucking lose all your souls in the process, right? At least that's what I hope it is, because that's what I'm trying. Please do what you say on the tin. Return to the Nexus? Yes. I feel like it has to, though, right? Like, what's the point of it? Yep, there we go. That's exactly what I expected. Thou seek then touch. Okay, so I'm gonna, I've got a few things going to update with you. The strange thing doesn't seem to update anything, but I feel like I should get one up to see what changes about it. I've got a few souls to use here. So the world might be mended. I'll upgrade strength so once to see what fucking happens. Why does strength not seem like to fucking do anything? I did get to level 14, I guess. Vitality, obviously. And then I'll fucking do Dexterity one more time, because that... Well, not Dexterity, Endurance. But the Dexterity is pretty good still. Endurance. Yes. la di da da All that stuff to go on up. Wow. Just thinking about things. Physical defense continues to go on. Art thou done? Yeah, I'm done. Main. And I used up most of the souls, which is what I pretty much predicted. Now, now, now. I'm gonna talk it's to you. Some trade with your soul. Can I upgrade this mace? I'm actually starting to like this. No, the blessed mace cannot be upgraded. I see. That makes sense. We'll see because it just so it doesn't go off. I can't really say too much there. But I will upgrade the strength just a little bit. La -di -da -di -da. Astrosaurus, Smitten. Blessed won't go up. So, Falchion. I need three more Shard of Sharp Stones. Millbreaker. Just kind of like what these all look like. Astrosaur didn't actually like that much. So this should like what's which of these axes are better? Oh, the fucking great axe is definitely better. I like seeing some of these weapons I picked up because I haven't really taken a good look at them. 105, 80, 102, 70, guillotine axe. The great axe seems pretty good. Uh, hammer, maybe I can't use it immediately, but maybe eventually. How about Sherpo, Spike Shield, Steel Shield, Bastard Sword? Okay, I think I might try. See, so can I upgrade the Great Axe? 
Well, not with the souls I have. I do have enough of this, and that will increase the damage substantially. Do I have enough of this, actually? No, I've got three, and I don't have enough souls for it. But I get some more souls. 650 to that. That makes a lot of sense. No interest, eh? No, I already upgraded. I can tell you. I need to drop a Hello lot of things off I'm with keeping you. A I need to drop a lot of shit off with you. It turns out I'm carrying too much. Oh, where am I going to put all of these reams of poison resistance? Okay, let's see. Clean rain, rain of magical dullness, rain of disease resistance, rain of poison resistance, rain of ash resistance, rain of flame resistance, rain of hergulicum strength. We got all this. Rushwood helmet, I'm still carrying that around because I'm a silly old foe. Plate gauntlets, old rigged boots, hard leather boots. Okay, I'm not using the bow and arrow right now. I probably should think about it, but I'm going to put it away while I'm not using it. Away all six. Away all 56. Yep, I am burden Steel shield. It's a pretty good shield, but I need to get to a certain level of stats in order to fucking use it. I don't think I was there yet. Or maybe that was the other shield. Deposit item. I think that was the other shield. I think I can use that, actually. Can I? What is this about? I think I'm about ready to move on from the wooden shields. At least I put one wooden shield away. I'll put the short bow away because I'm not even fucking using it right now. Let's look at some of the stuff I picked up. That's a pretty decent sword. It's not like the best sword I've ever seen, but maybe it's got certain stuff about it that makes it nicer. Chris Blade. This is more of a magic blade, I remember. Yep. I'll keep the magic blade in case I need it. Bastard Sword. I kind of don't like the Bastard Sword when I used it. Maybe it's better than I'm giving it credit for. Hold on to it in case I need it. Schmitter. I don't think I'm going to use the Schmitter anytime soon. I'll put the Schmitter away. I haven't used that one. Mailbreaker. I feel like this is a piercing sword, so I should probably hold on to it and get some piercing thing. Guillotine axe. I decide I'm going to focus on the great axe and put one axe away. The club. Kind of nice in theory, but I'll put it away for now. Morning star. Uh, nah, I'll put it away for now. Pickaxe. Put it away, wing sphere. I'll carry one just in case. I have several of my fucking put away stuff. I think I have enough to fucking use this shield, which I might think about. Hmm. All these fucking shards I'm picking up. Shard of Meltstone, Shard of Failstone, Shard, 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 Chunk of Spirestone. An ore used to make delicate bows. Weapons can be strengthened with Spirestone up to... So this is for bows. Ore used to make it very make delicate bows. Weapons can be strengthened with Spirestone up to the maximum level of 5. I'll put this away because I'm not really using bow stuff. Shard of Faintstone. The Faintstone's power, a shard of cold holy ore that shines dimly, enhances straight swords, axes, hammers, and so on. The Faintstone's power will also carry the user's weapons blessed with it, slowly regenerate each hit points. Oh, weapons can be strengthened by Faintstones up to a maximum level of 5. Shard of Meltstone. This unique ore can melt all other ores and return all enhanced weapons to its original state. Why would you want to do that? Melt all other ores. I'll put it away for now, though. I don't really need that at the moment. At least I don't think I do. Shard of Marrow Stone. In order to make close range stabbing weapons, they usually deliver critical strikes. Though to be crystallized form minerals inside human blood. I see. I wasn't done there yet. Shard of Greystone. Or used to make weapons whose sheer power can bludgeon foes. 
Which on clear stone which requires skill and expertise to make high quality weapons with. Nine weapons can be strengthened by clear stone up to five level five. Shard of clear stone. A shard of crystallized white ore, capable of enhancing a variety of weapons. An ore which requires all that. Chunk of sharp stone. Basic ore that evenly increases the power of a weapon. Weapons can be strengthened by sharp stones at a maximum level of 10. Large sharp stone shard. Got it. Shard of sharp stone. Chunk of hard stone. Basic ore. Increase the power of a weapon. Weapons can be strengthened. Power of a weapon. Shard of hard stone. And then over here. I almost. End I don't even know what the bleeding mechanic is. I, I, I've literally never. At least I've never consciously bleeded in this game. If it tells you that you start bleeding, I've literally never bleeded in this game. Um, I'll keep some on the off chance that I actually need them at some point. But so far, I have not had to worry about bleeding at all, actually. At least to my conscious knowledge. Darkman Grass, Lyric Clear Stores, these hit points, Floyd Hills. Midnight Blossoms, Moonworm Herbs. I'll keep that in case I need it. I'll keep that in case I need it. Alright, I've got soul stuff. I forgot about that. Throwing knives, sticky white stuff, black. Um, I don't need as many Agi of Guidances until I go to a fucking dark place, which isn't yet. Shard of Arkstone. That takes me back to the Nexus. White stone. Da -da 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 -da. Widow Lotus, Royal Lotus, Soldier Lotus. Yep. You have a heart of gold. Don't. That currently puts my status and what I'm carrying. Not down a whole lot, actually. Hmm, maybe I should put more stuff away. But first, I'm going to spend my soul. Storied Soldier's Soul. Renowned Hero Soul. Hopefully these unknown hero souls can get me to level which I want to do, so I can get some upgrades. I don't think it will though. Yeah, that's not enough to get upgrade. I think currently the upgrades cost like six thousand four hundred or so. Let me just look to confirm. Now seek, seek soul power. Soul oh, it's gone up to seven thousand four hundred. I shall await thine return. Sleep. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get to that soul count. Uh, hmm. Should I do this here? I definitely haven't been an archdemon yet. That's definitely positively true. You know what else I need to say? My grandfather had unusual tastes. He often visited Stonefang Mine, where he collected rocks of all shapes and sizes. Most of them had no value. But among them, he found a miracle stone shard, which he gave to me. Could this too be a sign from God? But among them, he found a miracle stone shard. Let's see. A warrior from Ayu Umbasa. Nope, same thing as always. Oh, honorable one, I hesitate to imagine deep within the darkness where no light shall ever. Sh Will you continue to. Well, there's that guy. Those two always say the same goddamn things. I'll go up here. Wow, wow. Anybody new join our ranks? Not over there. Not over here. Okay. Only one other place to check, which would be all the way on the other side of this staircase, I believe, right over there. There's definitely something that makes like a sound the higher up you go in here. I don't really know what it is, but yeah. Back down I go. Mm -hmm. 
Nobody I'm spotting through here. Nobody I'm spotting through there. And there's only one last spot to check, which I believe is on this side of things, but I almost thought I was running off the cliff for a second. But let me just double check on that. Anybody new here? Just the one grumpy dude? Yeah, it's just the one grumpy what dude. What do you want, brute? Yeah, thank you. Da -da 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 da Okay. What should I do now? Go back here. I kind of think this is the area which I should sort of work out. Let me go back to the temple, actually. I know how to get back to where I am in a second, but I wanted to check something. That's what I just kind of want to get some back out. Let's get some of this. Oh, this I want to get the elevator working. I don't think I'm going to get the elevator working by going deeper and deeper down the fucking mines. Wait till they both throw it around the same time. And got hit because I'm silly. I need to find a way to get this elevator working. Hmm. I guess I'm going to murder everything and just take their souls here. Yeah, that gets all the power than me. But I can actually handle them all fully now, no problem. How much are their souls worth? Like, probably at least like three. Yeah, they're like hardly even worth it. But at least I confirm that, because I never had done that before, really. I'm on my way for it. Wow. Going on over here. I forgot those doggies. The dogs do so little damage, holy hell. Okay, well I'm fine these things. Shard of Hearthstone. Well, actually, I need Shards of Hearthstone, so that's good. I, that was there. I also forgot there's that Magician guy over there. There's also that guy up Health good enough, I think, to rush in to fight one of those <laughs> guys. Hopefully. Let my health come back just a little bit. I'm gonna explore this way, trying to see if I can find something I'll fucking turn that elevator on. That's a sign for me to fucking leave. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I'm a little repetitive. I don't want to use my last grass in this instance. Build up on the trigger the effect supplies. 
Start build up with low certain point, the status effects kicks in. I think I'll, yeah, that makes sense. I have no idea where this elevator switch is. I figure it has to be around here. I figure it's the way you get up to where those rock throwing enemies are, but I don't know how you fucking do it. I just kind of figure you probably don't go all the way down the mines. That probably is not where the elevator shaft is. Unless I'm fucking wrong about that, but I don't know. Just waiting for good old hell. Waiting for things as they go. I guess you would think he, maybe it's like the other one after you get on top of the tower somehow and somehow turn that on. That's vaguely what I think you'd have to do, but I'm not really sure of that, obviously. I'm just trying to think. Think about it for now. You know what? While I'm regaining my health, let me look through here. Is there like... Something around here? I'm just trying to think right now. How would you get on top of that? Is there another pathway? I'll look at the top very thoroughly, but I might as well just start here. Especially when I've got health I've got to be concerned about. Destroying everything in my side. One thing that makes everything alright. Just taking a look, I really. That's in the way. Wait. Are you fucking kidding me? That makes it totally idiotic. Alright, let's see what this hole leads to. There's probably a few exits here. I'm happy I came back to check. There's an exit. Is there a magic guy? Fuck my life, it's the last thing I want. This is going to be a test of patience. On the bright side, I did find the elevator thing finally. That would have been very nice to know. Now, I'm not using my last grass to speed this guy because I don't know what else is like. There could be another of him or two of him that occurred behind him. I don't fucking know. Unless it is. I actually am terrible with this. I don't think this magic club is the best weapon. It's good against some, like, against the goblins, it's really good. But I have been having a hard time with these, supposed to I just use the sword. Maybe it's because I'm supposed to, like, double dual wield it. Maybe, yeah, because that usually stuns them, the other one doesn't. I'll try to dual wield this club and I'll fucking see what happens. I kind of forgot about the dual wielding mechanic for a while, despite the fact that I was using it a lot earlier. So. However, though, I'm going to wait for the blessing and my health back up because I'm on the last healing item. I don't want to turn human at the moment, so. Give it just a moment more, so I have a little bit of health so I can survive at least one blast, maybe two. What he decides to throw at me. So, head, head, hooray for me. Just slowly filling itself up. This is kind of funny, I hope messing with the camera. Okay, I'm going for it. Fuck it. I'll dodge whatever first blast he does. I'll fucking go in here and I'll go in. I'm going back before he throws fire at me. I also notice there's some more enemies coming from behind him, but he's blocking them.
Please don't get too smart for your own good. Just stand there for a bit as I slowly reheal some health before I take care of you goblins. I, I'm in a very narrow spot, so I don't want to get into a tight position here. Actually, you guys can't fucking... Well, maybe if you guys can't see me, it won't really matter. I was going to say, you guys can't throw fireballs like he could, though. So maybe it's okay? But then maybe you guys are just standing there because you guys can't see me right now. Maybe I'm just invisible if I'm not in your line of sight, so, you know. There could be a lot of options, really. I'm not one to say which one was the better or worse option. I'll just wait here for a second as Valve gets... Goblins don't hurt as much as the fire guy does, but there's still nothing to be not careful about, especially... Well, I guess I'll, I have a little bit to lose. Wait, when I... Oh, right, I had this many souls because I was wanting to save up to 7,000 so I get the upgrade. I could get back here easily, but still better to be safe than sorry. I'll risk it here. Goblin, can either of you guys figure out how to get past there? It would actually be better if I go to my other stance, because at least I can go like Oof. Alright, now my double stance stands. Bada bass swing. When you just die, just randomly. Do I have to, like, change this stance to be able to pick this up? There we go. Crushing Battle Axe plus one. I'm sure. Check in here. I'm gonna break these things. I see this soul here. Gun Soldier Soul. Alright. Anything else around the way? Nope, I am staying on top of some logs. Alright, so that was just a little bit of an intermission stop. Where is the next stop? Down the other way. That's where we originally came from, I believe. See another, I guess we're going down to ground level. That's definitely what it looks like, such as that's there. Okay. Grab this. Stone. Oh, another one of those. I'm happy to be getting so many of those today. Are those the only two exits here? I mean, I guess it was something that was easy to get, just I really obviously overlooked it. I'm gonna make sure I'm not missing something, but otherwise, I think I might have done it. Let me watch this drive up here and count how many exits there are. There's one. There's two. I'll check that place one more time to make sure. I, I think I did everything right. I'll, I'll check one here. And I'll take the one way to get back to this stop. I'll be back to you in just a moment. Okay. Is there nothing I'm missing here? 100% did it. It does appear that I 100% did it. Just wanted to make 100% sure. Now the ride back. I also get a free view as I do this. Look at that tower. There's a certain charm to the old, like, 360 kind of, not like super high quality games, but sort of like fantasy games. Like, Nier is another one that kind of looks like this. 
vaguely makes me think, not from the 360 PS3 era, but it kind of vaguely makes me think of Twilight Princess. There's like this sort of certain aesthetic that these games around this time had, where it's kind of like getting higher fidelity, but not, and it's sort of like a murky color look for it, but kind of works. Let's end off here. I'm gonna try something then on the other side. Running on back, running on back. As I got the idea in mind. I don't think I have anything really worth it. I guess if you sell Ed's grindstone. Kind of what just killed itself and just gave it to me. Where are you running off to? Yeah, it's kind of a nice stack. Can we? Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna ride to the bottom floor before I go to the top floor to get back to the spider boss and then pass through the spider boss was to get back to the mines. But I should probably return before I do this. First, I'll make sure there's nothing in the lower level. I know that's not actually an exit. Can I just talk to you this whole time? Mm. I haven't seen you around these parts. Uh, what does it matter? You need a blacksmith, show me some coin. If not, head straight for the door. Wait, you're a blacksmith? Oh. Well, that's interesting. I'm busy. I'm not here to chit-chat. Forging a weapon strengthens it. It alters its character. Balls are transmogrified sprites. Their presence blesses the weapon. Oh. He'll upgrade more things than the other person. Bless mace plus two. I need shard of faint stone by only one. You can turn it back to a mace, but I would want to turn it back to a mace. Okay, so you're like a more diverse blacksmith. Oh, you can do it plus three? Hmm. I'll think about that. Let me see what else I can do in that sword plus two. Dragon sword plus two. That's from Char. Yeah, you can do a lot more, can't you? What does that increase? Evidently not the defense. It does that have a stats in that? That's the souls of the cost. Got it. Spike shield. Expensive. What the damage? Does it do anything else besides the damage? Like, it ups the attack. I'm not really trying to up the shield's attack. Arcado shield. Can't do that right now. Queen Sphere. Got it. Last maze. I got enough faint stone. Hardstone, crushing great axe plus one. Did I get crushing great, crushing battle axe. That's eighty-eight. That's one hundred and thirty. What's the difference here? Great stone, hardstone, great axe plus one, crushing great axe. What's the difference in attack power? Stat bonus D. What's the other stat that gets like a negative 115? Oh, okay, I see. Hmm. Okay, so I think I know I'm going to upgrade right now. This takes Hearthstone and Raystone. Sharpstone, melt stone for that. I'll do this. Uh, 
this right here. Oh, I can start getting into new places. Try to clear stuff. Oh, now the fast chain can start trying to fancy it. Carrying fashion in the one, but it's E, but it has much effect to it. Quality fashion. What is that about? I'll turn into this. And I need. Now I can make a plus two right now, which put a little bit above where it was before. Okay. But I don't have enough to go up to times three. But I do have enough clear stone. Save the clear stone, and you get shards of clear stone, they'll do this bit. Got it. Great axe. Great axe crushing. Where is that stat, by the way? The one that gets into E. The only difference here, that one costs a little less, but this puts this to C and that puts that to D, but I guess that gets E. What is the other stat? I look at stats. Hold on. Let me go. I walk alone. Let me look here. It's dexterity. You got it. If it be a blacksmith, then show me some coin. Upgrade weapon. I want you to take my uh, great axe and turn it into a great axe plus one. You can probably turn it into a great axe plus two even. Alright. And when I'm able to use that, it'll be a little bit more powerful. Wow. Just thinking. Get more of those, apparently. It needs to be repaired. Bless the mace. Sure. Hardly at all. Let me go. I walk alone. That's good. Is there always a door here? I probably went through it already. Yeah, Rhyme or this. And there's evidently no place to drop down. There was just like a thing here before. Let's look at the tower though. Actually, there should be a different tower because it's on the other side. That's interesting. Alright, back up we go. I know I'm getting a little sleepy, so I'm probably going to call it off pretty shortly. Oh, 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 wait. Surprised that worked out okay. Going on over this way. I'll return to the Nexus. Sure is that. Now loading. So I now know there's a blacksmith there. That's better than this guy for blacksmith, and so that's nice. Why am I running over here? Talk to you, I think. But among them, could this miracle stone to find down in the depths? I guess you can summon grass. I do kind of need grass. No interest, day. I can tell. Hmm. I think my sleepiness level is gaining to me a little bit, so I'm probably gonna quit it here. We did make more progress. Uh, next time, I guess we're going to see if we can get through the mines. And then if we get through the mines, we'll probably also see if we can beat that leech boss. I feel like I'm upping my stats enough that maybe I can try another attempt at leech boss, but I don't love the bog. I don't love it. Um, hopefully the next time I go there, those fucking little gremlin, like, by little gremlins, I mean the fucking huge gremlins, or goblins, whatever you want to call them, are a little bit more okay. Until next time, though, I hope you guys have been enjoying so far. 
and I shall bid adieu to all of you. Bye for now, everyone.